For those of you who are unaware, a few months ago, some individuals circulated serious accusations against me. And I want to make it perfectly clear right now. They are false. And I have proof. I have the receipts. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, good early morning to you, chat. What a fun stream. What a fun impromptu stream. I hope you like I hope you like dumpster fires. I hope you like watching people light themselves on fire for your own entertainment. Because you've got a front row seat tonight. I'll tell you. There are some stupid things that you can do as a man. Lots of dumb shit you can do in a relationship. But I think what has to sit at the very top of the list. The biggest fuck-up you could possibly ever undertake is dumping your wife via social media. Not the smartest thing to do. Especially when your wife has some things to say about you and your career. Some potentially damaging things. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with a YouTuber by the name of Pro Jared, Over a million subs on his account. Well, tonight there was a little bit of trouble in paradise. The honeymoon it would seem, is over. And he decided, you know, very big brain decision, I might add, that uh, he wanted to do break up with his wife. So he was going to do it via Twitter. But what could go wrong? Women are completely reasonable creatures, very logical. They would, uh, of course, think this through and not say anything that's going to make you look bad. No, he decided to uh, post about it. Hey, hey, uh, we're going to be getting a divorce. And then shit went down. Now, this is kind of, uh, uh, this is in flux at the moment. It's live and breaking. But I just, uh, I can't, I can't not talk about it because it's really fucking entertaining. So we're going to take a look. This is a little conversation that's been going on between him and uh, his ex-wife now, I guess, uh, via social media. So let's take a look at what started, oh, I can get rid of the banner text. Get rid of the banner text. There we go. Let's start let's start it out with the brainchild's brilliant idea of just fucking announcing at like 11 at night on Twitter on a random fucking Wednesday. Hey, I'm done with my wife. Just want, just pro tip everybody. Pro tip from pro, uh, pro Jared. I'm dumping the bitch. So, let's go read his amazing statement. Here we are. This is a uh, Pro Jared's Twitter account, Jared Cannabinabar. Don't know how to pronounce it. Don't really even care. Let's read it. My wife Heidi and I have filed for divorce. I know this may come as surprising and upsetting for many of you, but know that we do this so that we might both seek happiness for ourselves. During this time, you may see a lot of rumors, speculation, and gossip going around. I ask that you make your own observations and come to your own conclusions. Well, Papa Bless, listen to that. He's giving us permission to come to our own conclusions. We'll be doing that on this stream. <laughs> a lot of speculation and rumors and gossip. I don't know if he really saw this coming from his wife. I'm sorry, ex-wife. But uh, I'm glad we have your permission to come to our own conclusions based on the observations we're going to be undertaking this evening. I will add that this decision was reached after extensive individual therapy on my part and couples therapy together. With that said, this is all I plan on stating publicly regarding the matter. Heidi's privacy, mental well-being, and discretion has always been and will remain my highest priority through all of this. I'm going to say that's a lie. You'll see why I believe that's a lie in just a few minutes. It's my hope that we both exit this marriage with style and grace. Nothing says stylish. Like divorcing your wife on Twitter, you stupid fuck. <laughs> you know, I believe... Listen, okay, I like to have a little bit of flair, all right? Wear a suit... Got a nice, got a nice fedora upon me. I'm all about style, baby. So when I br when I break it off with my wife, only the finest of Twitter posts will will do that for me. You know, some of the uh, guys out there don't know what they're doing. They use Instagram or Facebook, but people know the quality breakup platform is Twitter.com. I plan on continuing to do everything I can on my part to make this happen. <laughs> Just. Uh, plan on doing okay. Plan on doing what? Everything you can to divorce her. Uh, okay, 
Uh, thank you for understanding or your understanding, patience, kindness, and respect for our privacy. Ugh. Dead man walking. This motherfucker may have well painted a bullseye on his back. What a stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> Did you even talk to a divorce attorney? Did you talk to anybody that was licensed in divorces and ask them, hey, this is a smart decision to publicly announce on Twitter I'm divorcing my wife. <laughs> you stupid bastard. Okay. Okay. Well, that was his that was his announcement. Very straightforward. Okay, that's very sad. Oh, God, Pro Jared. Pro Jared's divorcing his wife. Who am I going to get my Nintendo reviews from now? Ooh. Oh, poor guy, couples therapy. That's oh, he must that must be tough times for him. But, you know, surprisingly, his uh, I guess now ex-wife, Heidi O'Farrell, <laughs> Farrell being a fitting last name because that's uh that's the that's the mood I get from her. She's gone feral. She's looking for fucking blood tonight. Has decided to address some of this. Uh, well, she's she's decided to address a fucking lot of it. So let's just go read through this. Oh, this is going to be funny as shit. Oh, this is so fucking amazing. Why do people do this shit publicly on social media? I will never know. But it is high quality entertainment. It's the kind of shit everybody loves. So uh, this was his wife's first response. We're just going to read through it. There's a lot of stuff to unpack here, so uh, just get cozy. Have a nice drink. Smoke a joint. Uh, <laughs> do whatever you gotta do. Lots of laughs ahead. So uh, this would be this would be her Twitter account. I uh, okay. I recently learned that my husband Pro Jared has been fucking Holly Conrad behind my back for months. I had no idea what announcement he just made because he blocked me. Uh oh. <laughs> what happened to being mature adults, Jared? Who the fuck announces a divorce and talks about how much they love their ex-wife's mental well-being and then blocks her on Twitter and announces he's dumping her? I've been fucking Holly Conrad behind... His... <laughs> what? Holly Conrad? Well, that name seems really familiar. Why does that seem so familiar? Oh, well, I know why that seems familiar. She had a comment on Jared's announcement about divorcing his fucking wife. In fact, it's the first fucking response. I'm so sorry you're going through this. I'm here for you if you need me. You need to bend somebody over, relieve a little stress, I'm here for you. You hit Holly up. <laughs> oh, Jared! Oh, you stupid fuck. Oh, it's just getting started, though, by the way. There's, <laughs> there's some great shit in here. Jared tried very, very hard to make me feel responsible for everything that gone wrong in our relationship. He technically broke up with me in February, insisting that the only thing wrong with our marriage was me, insisting that he had tried to make things work. He was unable to confess his infidelity, even when presented with proof. He squirmed in denial until the last minute, getting angry and defensive instead of apologetic. I believe he has compartmentalized his feelings and memories to suppress his guilt. He's very convincing. I've spent the last year in near isolation, ostracized from Jared's friend group because he made it clear to me that I was not welcome around them, even when we were still together. You get back in the closet, whore! Don't you embarrass me in front of my video game friends! I'm doing YouTube LPs here, honey! Get back in the closet! He had to keep me separate to keep up his lies. He told his friends a version of events that omits his infidelity and portrays me as an aggressive and unreasonable person, as though I'm randomly angry and upset all the time for no reason at all. It's because he's abusing me. Uh-oh. His statement is nothing more than an attempt to silence me before I can reveal anything. I gave him the opportunity to make a statement about his infidelity before I did. I told him it'd be less embarrassing for him if he was honest with his own friends. He declined. Oh, now here's where she starts dropping fucking nukes. Honestly, Holly Conrad. <laughs> this is so good. Honestly, at Holly Conrad. You look very ashamed and insecure in all the nudes you sent my husband. I think it would be your chronic self-esteem issues. It would help your chronic self-esteem issues if you started fucking men that weren't already married. <laughs> oh, oh, this girl has no chill. Fuck. God, shit. She's seen the nudes of the woman that's fucking her husband. <laughs> Holly. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. 
That is unfortunate. Oh, you look you look a little insecure. You look a little insecure. Reading the explicit messages between my husband and his mistress is an experience I would not wish on anyone. I basically discovered that they've been hooking up all on their work trip since last fall and meeting together secretly since she moved here. Remember, if you uh, remember just a few minutes back, she mentioned they started calling off their marriage in February, but apparently that infidelity was going on for at least half a year last fall. Jared, it's very naughty. Jared and Holly know the truth. Convincing the rest of the internet isn't important to me. After losing the love of my life in such a brutal betrayal, I don't feel vulnerable to the opinions of strangers in the same way anymore. <laughs> shit! Before I read on, before I read on to the really funny shit, um, let's go take a look at his social blade. Let's go see how it's going for, for pro Jared. <laughs> how's, how's his fan base taking the news? Let's, uh, let's find out. Am I on pro Jared's page here? Yes, I am. Well, let's let's see how how are the uh, how are the fans taking the infidelity story so far? Well, there's lots of he hasn't really uploaded anything in like a year. Lots of green though. I mean, that's good. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Twenty two hundred unsubs. Oh, and most people haven't even heard this yet. Let's go look at the live buttons. <laughs> look at it drop. Oh, Jared. Oh, your sub count's dropping faster than your pants did when Holly showed you her tits. Oh, this is unfortunate. It doesn't stop, Jared. <laughs> what keeps dropping, Jared? Oh, make it stop. It hurts so much. Oh, the bleeding. The bleeding won't end. Oh, yeah, divorcing your wife on Twitter is a real smart move. Good business decision. <laughs> it just... <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh, Jared. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Not as unfortunate as what Heidi had to follow up with, though. Oh, there's there's more. Let's continue. I'm honestly shocked that he posted this today because he's so blatantly selfish. This isn't a mutual statement in any way. I did tell him that I wouldn't sign an NDA regarding his behavior. I've suffered enough to sell my, or I've suffered enough to sell my dignity. I don't expect fans to take up pitchforks for me. To most of you, he's just a funny internet guy. And it's not relevant if he cheated on his wife. Whatever, okay. I needed to get that off my chest because I've been living in a private hell for the last year. Wondering if I'm going crazy because the person I love told me the obvious wasn't true. That I'm paranoid and wrong. I'm not holding my tongue for his benefit anymore. I truly believe Jared was better than this. And he proved me wrong. I told him over and over that I had faith in the integrity. Or in his integrity. And he told me there and... <laughs> <laughs> told me, and he stood there and took the compliment and said nothing while cheating on me. This is going to get fun. The proof I found was on his old phone dating from October to December of last year. Everything from sexual images to detailed descriptions of times they met to have sex. Heidi, post it. Oh, please, Heidi, post it. The depth of his capacity for deception honestly disturbs me more than the actual cheating. I didn't believe he was capable of lying like this. I had the utmost faith in his uh, moral compass and good judgment. He has proved me wrong. It's also true that he's been soliciting nudes from his fans for years. I was there in the beginning. It was a joke on Tumblr. Then it was his own Tumblr account just for nudes. It was ostensibly a body positive space for consenting adults. And I approved on that basis. Uh-oh. Oh, you know shit's gonna go south when this the, when this sort of news breaks out. <laughs> Can I let me get a picture of Jared up, just so you know who we're talking about? Who's the guy that's getting all those nudes? <laughs> what's our what's our Casanova look like? Oh, oh, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> this is perfect, perfect image, perfect. Here we go. This guy, this guy right here is the one soliciting the nudes from his fans. It's got a whole fucking uh, social media platform dedicated to getting naked pictures from people that watch his Nintendo reviews. Uh-oh. The wife found a dirty, dirty conversation, sexual images. And now Jared's soliciting nudes from his fans. Could it get any worse, you ask? Why, yes, it could. It actually could get worse, now that you ask. Let's find out how it could get worse. Let's, uh, let's see how this could possibly turn into a worse situation. It kept escalating secretly. 
He started a Snapchat for getting nudes from his fans without telling me. I found out via a fan comment. I felt pressured to allow it, even though I was uncomfortable. Anytime I gave him an inch, he took a mile. Well, don't feel bad, Heidi. You weren't the only one giving inches. Apparently, Jared was giving out quite a few inches to Holly and a few of his fans from the sound of it. I believe that he had shut it down in late 2017, I think. But now I have reason to believe it continued for a long time after that. If you have information or were involved in this, I would really like to know what happened. I know a lot of his fans participated. For the record, I'm not mad at any of the fans for sending him raunchy images. Jared was the one responsible for being honest with me, which he failed to do. No one is to blame, in my opinion. I used to think that among consenting adults it was fine. Now I see it was an abuse of power uh, for him to intentionally manipulate anyone to show him their naked body on the basis that he's a popular internet man. <laughs> I'd like to apologize for my role in enabling this. I was planning it to be a lot more civil in my announcement. But then Jared blindsided me with his bullshit vague statements pretending that our relationship ended for any reason besides his extensive infidelity. Oh, here's where it gets better. This is a fucking response to somebody else. I followed him on Snapchat for a brief period of time. Not even that long ago, February. It started with him sending risky cosplay pics and I deleted them after they became full on nudes. I never sent any pics back, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I didn't realize he was sending actual full nudes to his fans too. I thought they were just teasing images. I always warned him that showing his dick was a line he couldn't cross. Our boy. Where is he? Where's our boy? Here's our boy. Our boy has got some dick pics out there, Internet, and we need to find them. Apparently, Casanova here was running multiple fucking tumblers and Instagrams to get nudes and then sending out pictures of his cock. Sending out his pictures of his cock to the Internet. Now, I wasn't sure... <laughs> God, how can this keep going? Oh, Jared, 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 this is so many mistakes you've made here. Putting your penis on the internet is probably one of the biggest ones you could make. Uh, but somebody sent this in response. That's a, that's a little picture, uh, apparently, to, co co to corroborate the story that Jared's out there uh, sending things to the ladies. Uh-oh. I recognize that pale, pasty, fucking skinny little body. <laughs> Would that be Jared? Uh-oh. It's a little bit risky, Jared. Are you uh, are you about to uh, unveil your grading scale to the internet? Oh. Oh, God. This is fucking disastrous, Jared. Let's see. Uh, let's continue reading her uh, Twitter account. Uh, and people asking to follow. Follow me back. I want to send you evidence. He regularly asked fans for nudes on Tumblr and would encourage people to join his 18-plus Snapchat. And it definitely rubbed me the wrong way. I'm so sorry that he was doing this. Many fans of Jared's are replying to this tweet to share their experiences. I won't retweet anyone, but just look at the replies and you'll see how many people corroborate this info. Well, let's find out. Oh my god, this is from Sky Williams. Oh my fucking good god. This is just so sudden and equally so horrible. I'm so sorry you're dealing with this. Please let me have, please somebody post the pictures. <laughs> Tell me somebody posted the pictures. Oh, Jared hungers. Hungers for nudes. Oh, this is fucking terrible. This is just awful, Jared. And she posted more. Oh, let's see. We these are our final tweets. She's put these out while I was preparing the stream <laughs> the stream. I'm aware that Jared believes and has told many people that I'm abusing him. That's his justification for cheating on me. But the logic is flawed, because even if I am the worst person in the world, it's still his responsibility to break up with me, instead of banging other girls. That said, I begged to know what I was doing to hurt him, so I could fix it. He could never give me an actionable feedback. He couldn't point out any of my current behaviors that needed to change. I spent every day desperate to please him, while well, he gave me the silent treatment. He had absolute financial and social control over me. I've been powerless by comparison. I couldn't even move without him co-signing my lease. I couldn't even get away when he didn't want me anymore. I held on to this marriage for so long because I believed in his goodness, and he gave me just enough false hope to keep me hooked. He insisted he was trying, 
If only I were better. I thought if I was humble and corrected myself, love would eventually win out. Oh, my dude. What are you doing? Never, ever, ever. Talk about your fucking relationships on the internet, Jared. You stupid asshole. This is, this is why you don't do that. This is why you don't divorce your fucking wife via Twitter posts after you block her on social media. Now the information's out there that you're getting nudes from fans and sending dick pics to people. Oh, it's going to be nightmarish. How many of these girls do you think it's going to... If there's 10, 20, 30 of them, one of them's going to show that stuff. We're going to see your dick, dude. Because you had to divorce your wife in the stupid, stupidest way possible. I'm going to know what your penis looks like by the end of the week, Jared. That should terrify you. I don't want to know what your dick looks like, bro. But now I got no choice. How could I not watch this dumpster fire fucking in real time take place? Simply stunning. And even better is the fact that the woman that he's fucking has got the gall to respond to it. What are you doing? Oh, oh, does she... Uh, she looks like she has a public statement, too. Let's read her public statement <laughs> from Holly the Homewrecker. Uh, here we go. I understand some shit's going down on the internet. If you want to believe a hyperbolic statement from somebody you don't know on the internet with no previous background information and use it to demonize strangers, so be it. This isn't anyone's business but theirs. Well, I, I beg to, I beg to disagree because according to, according to our boy, our boy Jared here, he wants us to reach our own conclusions based on our own observations. Holly, we're just listening to the guy you were fucking. If it's worth anything, you all know me. I never hurt anyone. I only want the best and happiness for those around me. If you followed me for a long time, you know that. I'm gonna get off Twitter for a while. Oh, I'd wager you are. <laughs> I wager you're going to take a minor break. Maybe, you know, a couple days. Uh, sort some things out. Now, Jared hasn't posted anything since he put up his uh, statement on the internet. You know, in fact, let's let's go take a look and just see, again, how that social blade's doing for our boy. <laughs> oh, God. It's still dropping like a rock. Uh, not, not doing well. Just keeps tumbling down. <laughs> Jared, why? Oh, what's the total loss at right now? Let's go find out. Uh, 2200 that's at 31000 And he's sitting at what right now? Oh, it's another 1,000 drop. So we're, we're at a loss of 3,500 subs at fucking 2 in the morning when nobody even knows what's going on. Oh, <laughs> give, give it like three days, four days before we see some dick pics. Also, his wife, ex-wife, sorry, Heidi, uh, apparently saw Holly nude, so I don't know if Holly's making shit up. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, I don't know if Heidi's making shit up, Holly. Because she's seen your tits. She knows what you look like with your pants off. Because you sent it to her husband. Uh, I wonder if she's got access to those images and those conversations. She said she had proof, so she probably backed it up. I wouldn't be surprised if in a week or two, <laughs> or at least at the divorce proceeding, that gets entered into evidence and we get to read sexual conversations between pro Jared and Holly. Get to see some fancy pictures. In the meantime, the fans he's been sending his cock to on the internet, well, they'll probably post that shit on 4chan or somewhere else. They can do it anonymously. And everybody's going to get in a good, nice inspection on the, um, uh, you know, King of Pole's going to be thrilled. He loves outlines. So, Jared, if there's one positive takeaway from this uh, disaster that is your life at the moment, it's that Brian is fucking thrilled with your decision to send dick pics out to people randomly. He thanks you for your service, Jared. Oh, chat. I, this is, again, this is just beginning. It's one of those things where I saw it start to happen and I just wanted to talk about it. It's a very short stream. I just wanted to make you all aware of the fact that whatever you do in your life, <laughs> whether it's a straight or a gay relationship, it's a husband or a wife, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, do not under any fucking circumstances break up with them via social media what a disastrous decision to do the dumbest fucking thing you could do <laughs> that's it's just a mistake and you're watching you're watching it play out you're seeing why it's a mistake he had to have known he had to have known that this how could you be that stupid what did he expect that she was going to do applaud him 
Did she think Heidi was going to give him a round of applause and say, You, way to go, Jared. Not only do I love your Nintendo reviews, I love the fact that you fuck sluts on the side and dump me publicly via Twitter. You go, buddy. <laughs> way to win the fight. Holy fucking shit. Chad, am I alone in this? I, I don't think I can be alone in this. I think Jared might be might be mentally handicapped. I can't really explain what his thought process was on this. I've known some stupid motherfucking guys in my lifetime who've done some dumb shit in relationship. But this might be right at the top of the list. Oh, good God. Oh, Jim, the, or the picks are already leaking, are they? Nice. Oh, the picks. People are saying, check out V. The pictures are already up. Well, I... I'm up for a challenge. Now, if they're too sexual in content, I obviously can't show them on Twitter. But I can describe them. In, <clears throat> I can describe them in great detail, however. So let's go see if, uh, if those pictures are, in fact, up on the Internet. Please tell me they are. Tell me, tell me somebody uh, link them. Maybe link them to my good friend, Mr. Anti-Bully, so I can go take a look at them. Uh, because I think, oh my god, holy shit. Oh, he's got a tiny dick! <laughs> oh, Jared, no! Oh, it's itty bitty, bro! <laughs> oh, that is that is bad! Oh, here's another pro tip for pro people out there. Don't be like our boy pro Jared. Unless you're swinging a certain amount of meat, don't be sending pictures of it out to people randomly on the internet. <laughs> Oh, that is bad. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, yes, the pictures are out there. I love the look on his face. He looks like he's about to bust a nut. Oh. <laughs> What's... Yeah, there's a song I'm suddenly reminded of. Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find this song. <laughs> I don't know what's going to be smaller by the end of this. His dick or his sub count? Uh, okay. Let me, see, let me see if I can find the song that I think fits this situation uh, the best way possible. Uh, just a song to dedicate to our boy Jared. Okay, yeah, no, I think that captures it, chat. What the... F <laughs> the video's playing... Whoops, I wanted the picture up. I guess the... Well, whatever. You get the point. We're good. Uh, they're going to send me a copyright. Copyright on that one. Oh, that's fine, Jared. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, I, can't, I can't show you the uncensored version. People are asking for his pictures, the uncensored ones. I, there's, there's no way I can show this to you. I can just tell you that they do, in fact, exist. And I'm looking at them right now. And uh, it's uh, not very impressive. I'm gonna. If I had to give it a grading, I'd give that a a five and a half out of ten. If you catch my meaning, that would be my rating for, for his dick pics. Oh, wow. Okay, let's let's see. Let me just check see if there are any updates going on here. Oh, a few more tweets. Oh, 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 oh shit. Okay. Uh, so I, I, how do I even? I can't. I can't show the picture. I'll read the tweet though. It's a picture of his penis. Uh, before I was very defensive about Jared, but after seeing this image sent by fans, I was like, "Yikes, dude! Hope this will uh, get solved." And I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> From uh, Sweet Jackson 13 to his ex-wife Heidi, and Heidi's response is, "Oh my God." So I think that is definitive confirmation that that is in fact his itty bitty little short short man that he's holding in his. Fa <laughs> he's making a DSP face. If you remember that Twitch stream the DSP did where he's cranking one out, you know, the look on his face he got when the relief hit, that's the look on the face of Jared while he's cranking his, <laughs> while he's jerking the gherkin. Oof. Heartful. Oh, chat, what a night. What a fantastic evening. God, sometimes magical shit just, I mean, I feel bad for Heidi. Don't get me wrong, Heidi, if you ever hear this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry your husband was a piece of shit that cheated on you. But, um disastrous for him and entertaining for us oh i wonder how many dick pics are out there 
there are there are, there are images. There are. Oh, let me put his face back up so we can. <laughs> this guy, this dude's dick is floating around the internet. I've seen your penis, Jared. What life decisions have led to this happening? I have seen your dick. <laughs> I bet you didn't see that coming. Million sub account, doing really well, making some good money. Now, now some stranger on the internet's laughing about your dick size. Because <laughs> you had to get horny and do dumb shit on the internet. Oh my god. Fantastic. Again, uh, a very short stream. I, I realize that, chat. I just wanted to share this with you because I think it's going to be entertaining, especially going forward for the next week, at the very least. If we're getting one dick pic this quickly, we're going to be getting a lot of dick pics. There's going to be lots of cocks out there. So uh, enjoy. Have a good laugh. A enjoy that. <laughs> oh, what a stupid asshole. Oh, oh, that is a dumb decision, Jared. Very, very poor decision on your part. Gotta say, champ, could have handled it better. <laughs> okay. Can we get one last quick status update to see just, just how many subs he's sitting at? Just the last sub update before the morning comes and it really, really starts to go to shit for him. Let's let's find out. Let's just uh, let's give you a quick tally here. Oh Jesus! Oh, it's getting even worse now. He's at 4,400 subs lost. Oh, Jared, I'm gonna have to guess that once they saw how unimpressive your penis was, that's when the real unsubbing began. You could have maybe walked away with it, try pulling the Chad card or something. Once they saw that little fella, all the sympathy went right out the window. Just uh, sad. From Dango, go on V. A lot of people suggesting that. If you want more more Jared pictures, I guess V is the board to hit. From Pedro A, Jim, we are not European. Stop uploading late. From Dango again, apparently Holly is one of the Game Grump's ex-wives. <laughs> oh, this is going to make... Somebody who's more familiar with this, please make a video. It may have a little, have a little like, um, tack board with pictures of everybody and string going between each of them. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be a very complicated, complicated story. I'm looking forward to it. From Nicholas Diorio, I just added you on Twitter with a picture of Jer Bro Jared cosplaying in a sailor dress thing. Okay, you know what, chat? Hold on one second. Is this like a public thing he did, or is this like a sex pose he did dressed up as Sailor Moon? Because <laughs> that's the thing. I'm going to have to... Oh my god, dude, no. Holy fucking shit, no. <laughs> no! Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, apparently that's one of the pic... Is this, is this one of the pictures he sent out? <laughs> what sailor is this? Oh, I'm going to... I know what it is. He must be Sailor Pluto, given the size of his penis. The smallest of the planets. <laughs> oh, Jared... No! God, everything is just... This is terrible! <laughs> oh, you know... I'm gonna... T I, I have to do this now. Let me take a minute to give some advice to future content creators out there. Maybe you want to be a big YouTuber. You want to make a lot of money. Be real famous. I don't know what your fucking motivation is. Here's Jim's quick pro tips on how never to end up like this. Pro tip number one, don't send nudes of yourself to anybody. Pro tip number two, don't ask for nudes from anybody. Pro tip number three, if you have a small penis, don't show it to anybody. Pro tip number four, don't dress up like a Sailor Moon Scout and <laughs> spread your legs for private pictures. Bad decision. Pro tip number five, just make your fucking videos and just be quiet and everything will work out well for you. And the final tip, tip number six, the biggest tip of all, do not divorce your wife via Twitter messages. Or this will be you on a late night stream five years from now. <laughs> Dude. Brutal. God damn. I hope you enjoyed this little example of what not to do when you want to have a divorce with somebody. Uh, do the opposite of what Jared's done. And hopefully your life won't go up in flames in front of you in the span of two hours and you end up losing a ton of subs and having people laugh at your penis on the internet for the entire evening. Terrible, terrible decision, Jared. 
What the fuck were you thinking? Well, good evening, chat. Tonight we discuss a tale. A tale of tragedy. Of tiny dicks and pissed off chicks. I'm talking about our boy, Pro Jared. Internet superstar. LP or at video game reviewer. He's kind of a big deal. Who knew? Who knew to get those panties to drop? All you needed to do was review a few Nintendo games. Let me go run out and buy a Super Nintendo so I can be rolling in the pussy. Look at that handsome gentleman. Well, how much do you want to bet he might have actually used a service like Ashley Madison? He was using every other goddamn service. Instagram, Tumblr. Fuck. He's probably using carrier pigeons and tin cans with string tied between them. <laughs> Hello, can you hear me in the treehouse over there? Do you want to send me a picture of your tits? I reviewed Nintendo games. Oh, Jared. What have you done, my boy? Now, I did a stream this morning. I don't know how many caught it. But I'll give you a rough summation of what the uh, events as they played out. And we'll continue on from there because there's been quite a bit that's popped up. Our boy Jared here. He's a smart cookie. He's a, he's a big-brained individual. Galaxy-brained. He had the brilliant idea of blocking his wife on Twitter and then announcing their divorce. What could go wrong? We all know, we all know that women are totally logical and cool-headed. And they totally aren't going to light your ass on fire for pulling shit like that. Well, what do you know? She found out, even though he blocked her. And from there, things just went downhill. We heard stories about infidelity. We heard stories about uh, Jared being a naughty boy. And the floodgates, they opened. Now, the stream in the morning, he was sitting at about fifteen to 20,000 subs lost. He's currently sitting at 85,000 subs lost. I don't think I've ever seen somebody lose this many subscribers in one go. That's wholly unique to our boy Jared. He's setting records out there. I mean, that's something to be proud of, right, champ? <laughs> if you can't get fame, go for infamy. You know, sadly, your infamy is tied to your tiny, tiny penis. And can I just take a moment to say that even though this guy fucked around on his wife, was banging chicks left and right, treated her like dog shit by dumping her on social media, she actually defended his dick size and said, no, no, no. I wouldn't say his penis was tiny. What a woman. You stupid fuck. You cheated on her and treated her like shit and uh, called her out in public, basically, and she still defended your tiny little wang. <laughs> oh, dude. I also love the fact that the moment that she said, no, his dick's not small, there were like 10,000 dudes that were hitting her up. They're like, really? Really, baby? Hey, hey, well, give me your number. Hey, yo, you want some fuck? <laughs> Suddenly every neat on the internet, who is slightly above average, felt like they were a fucking Casanova. Oh, I gotta, I gotta let this elf chick see my donkey dick if she thinks that Jared's normal. <laughs> I'm gonna be a god in her eyes. Oh, Jared. Jared, Jared, Jared. You know, there are a lot of questions surrounding this. And we're gonna, we're gonna dive into a lot of it. But I need your help, chat. There's a great debate that's swirling around Twitter and social media at the moment, and we need to solve it. Okay, this is fucking important. This is our boy, Jared. Now, you need to tell me, okay? I've seen the argument from both sides. I need a fucking definitive answer. Does he look like Frant? Or does he look like Momo? Is this a dude that's going to jump out of my closet and make me read creepypastas? Or are we going to be talking about Lord Vessels and shit? <laughs> what does Jared remind you most of? I personally think Framped. Other people are saying, clearly Momo. I'll give you a second to catch up, chat. You tell me what you think. <laughs> you tell me what abomination this goofy fucker looks like. I, I'm, see I'm seeing the chat is a bit split on it. Lots of Momos. Oh, God, I would have gone with Framped, but I, I can't go against the people if they're saying... This ugly son of a bitch looks like Momo. Then he looks like Momo. Oh, it's, it's, it, I'm getting blown the fuck out here. It's like 80% Momos. I think mystery solved. We we can check it off our little list. Put a tally mark next to it. That one's taken care of. <laughs> oh, uh, this dude. This dude. How, how, how do you review Nintendo games 
and have women fawning over you? How do you post pictures like this and have women want to have sex with you? <laughs> Can somebody explain this to me? Fucking Sailor Pluto over here with the tiniest dick on Earth and Mrs. America. <laughs> I, I need to start reviewing Nintendo games. Holy shit, I need to rebrand. And call me, call me, I, I don't even know what you'd call me. I'll think of a clever name later. I just need to go buy a fucking Switch. Start, start talking, get a fucking blue puppet. I need to push Arlo out of this industry so I can corner the market, corner the market on internet thoughts. I don't know how that works. I don't know how this guy's pulling it off, but he is. Ah, oh, Jared. You know, I was reading through a lot of his stuff. Uh, people are posting all sorts of snippets all over the internet. It's pretty funny, to be honest with you. Uh, and one caught my eye. One caught my eye in particular. Uh, this tweet. I took a wrong turn on the internet and ended up reading DSP hilarity. Ha ha ha, whoops. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's funny, Jared. Yeah, DSP is funny. Hey, you want to hear something funnier? You like punchlines? Here's a joke. Uh, guess who still has a wife? Guess who still has a wife, asshole? Yeah, that's right. Phil Burnell. Phil Burnell has a wife. But you don't. Don't step to DSP. <laughs> what are you doing? You're going to talk shit about Phil. Phil. Phil's not the one that had his life explode on the internet. Phil may be a dumb motherfucker, but he's still married, Jared. <laughs> he's still got a wife that can tolerate him. Sad. Sad and upsetting. DSP did win again. You can't beat him. This man's made a Teflon. I <laughs> talk shit about him. Oh, the images that have been coming out about our boy. That's some good stuff. Lots of people are picking cho or choice quotes when it comes to Jared. <laughs> I love this one in particular. Oftentimes, I look at my YouTube demographics and get bummed out at how small the percentage of female viewers are. Oh, do you? I wonder why you're getting bummed out about that. I wonder what you find upsetting about that. Not enough women to prey on, Jared? Need need to need to uh, new hunting grounds? Is that what we're talking about here? Joining the likes of other celebrities that have handled it better. <laughs> Jared, oh, you stupid motherfucker. Oh, other people have taken a hit over similar activity, but you, my boy. You have set the standard on how to light yourself on fire for other people's amusement. <laughs> I thought the shit that Sargon was doing was bad. And it fucking is. But you, like, eclipsed that. You've condensed his dumb fuckery down into a day. You've taken weeks worth of material and crammed it into 18 hours. How do you, how do you even do that? I don't, I don't know. I mean, is the man innocent? Well, I, let's listen to him himself. Yes, I cheated, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Sounds pretty cut and dry to me. What would you rate that, Jared? If you had to give it a score on your scale of 10, what would you rate that? That's why my final rating for this is a broken marriage out of 10. Oh, harsh. Harsh rating, but I guess that's fair. You're not IGN. You've got to give it a more realistic rating, don't you, bro? <laughs> oh, how are you going to fix a broken marriage, Jared? How are you going to fix a, a broken marriage, Jared? What are you going to do to to put that back together. Oh, I maybe somebody could give you some advice. Who could give you advice on how to fix that fucked up marriage you've got there, bro? Oh, I know. Let's let's ask John. The, the three or four things that Flex Tape can't fix. A broken marriage, even then, shown, shown to be slightly more effective than placebo. Oh, do you remember him? Do you remember him? Remember the shit talk that you laid down on him when he got thrown out by you and your little cabal? Remember when you were saying that he was a fucking, what did you call him, a hindrance? In fact, let's take a look at what you said about John Tron. Now, our, our, little, our little fat cherub, John, gets into a stream debate with Destiny. He has a little bit of an episode, I like to call it Red Pill Tourette's, where he's so full of knowledge and uh, infographics from Pohl that he just can't contain himself. And everybody wanted to distance themselves. Of course, uh, you know, some of those people would include our boy Jared in Normal Boots. So what was it that you said about him? Let's, let's find out. Let me pull this up. Let's take a walk back in time to see how you treated his moment of being in the uh, crossfire of the public. Maybe it'll give us a good idea of how we should treat you going forward, Jared. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Let's uh, let's hear what he has to say about uh, John Tron. Why is John not a part of Normal Boots anymore? 
so that we can do things like go to Indie PopCon together and not have someone holding us back. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't want John holding you back. Yeah, God, he's an embarrassment, huh? Yeah, John. You know, with his 5 million subscriber YouTube page and wildly popular videos, he would be too much of a hindrance to you, you the moral standard. The, the fucking cut and dry guy. You know, the dude that uh, got busted by half the internet for fucking everything under the sun and cheating on his wife. But yeah, John, John Trod's the one holding you back. That's cute. Yeah, I, don't, I don't see a lot of mercy there. It doesn't seem very friendly to me. So, you know, forgive me if I'm not the kindest going forward when we talk about this. That is a yikes, chat. That's what you would that was what you'd call a yikes. Uh, I wonder, do you think John's celebrating right now? I mean, I'd be celebrating. Without further interruption, let's celebrate and suck some dick. Fuck yeah, give me some of that champagne. <laughs> let's celebrate. <laughs> Did you see what they did to his subreddit? Oh, Jared, this must really this must really chap your ass. This is what uh, happened to the R Pro Jared subreddit. It's now the R Jontron subreddit. He was a moderator, and uh, this is surprising to me. The mods and admins that actually kept this thing going, I guess, decided to ban his ass from his own subreddit, and then dedicated to Jontron and uh, and and Waz. Yeah, so uh, good going, good going, Jared. Everybody's really in your corner. I think you're gonna win this. Okay, let me be, let me be upfront about that. <laughs> I don't, I don't see this working out badly for you. What a stupid asshole! God, can you imagine the nightmare of being this guy and waking up in the morning to see massive, massive red numbers on all your channels, <laughs> to go onto Twitter. And find out that you are fucking trending. This was this picture, I made this really early on, but he ended up trending number one on Twitter. His infidelity was so popular and talked about that he trended number one on Twitter. That's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> Oops. Oh, shit. Didn't work out how we were expecting it to, did it? Oh, my boy. You fucked up hardcore this time. <laughs> There's no coming back from it. In fact, let's go take a look at where where's our where's our, our our savior of gaming? Where is he sitting right now? Let's see the after effects of his brilliant decision of divorcing his wife on Twitter. Surely surely this worked out well for him. I can't imagine it going badly. Let's uh let's just take a look at the numbers here. Let me pull this down uh, and pop this up. There we go. This is his social blade. <laughs> It looks like a human sacrifice. Look at the amount of red. It's, <laughs> it's like yeah, it's a text version of Mortal Kombat. Look at all that blood just seeping through. Eighty-six thousand fucking subs lost. He's gonna hit a hundred thousand lost in a day. What? What's the live count on this? Oh no, no. I want I want the live count on uh, your dumb fuckery. Let's let's go take a look. Oh, clean that up a little bit there. Still dropping. Just dropping like a rock. Round of applause for Jared. This is working out beautifully. Oh, drop it again. You know, he went from a million thirty-three thousand subscribers down to nine hundred and forty-six thousand subs. He will more than likely hit a hundred thousand lost just today. And I almost guarantee he will be below nine hundred thousand within the next twenty-four to forty-eight hours. That is a catastrophic fuck up. I don't even think when that guy with the glasses and all that shit was going on, I can't remember how many subs they collectively lost, but I think he's outpaced them. I can't think of another example of somebody fucking up on this level and losing this much. But our boy Jared. Of course, he's not alone. No, no. Uh, there are other people associated that, that, that thought it would be a brilliant idea to kind of jump into the fray and give their hot fucking takes on shit. Uh, you know, like people from Normal Boots and Peanut Butter Gamer. Let's take a look at some of the smart shit they had to say. I was told this morning, and I feel angry, upset, and really, really stupid. And I apologize. I'm so sorry to the survivors here. I apologize to Heidi for jumping the gun. I said these things. I own these tweets. I'm happy they were archived and that I've been given this opportunity for transparency. I was instructed not to comment after I had already posted them and then was asked to take them down. 
I was unaware of the allegations towards Jared. Oh, were you? You were you were unaware of the allegations? Huh, I find that kind of hard to fucking believe. Like, yeah, let me, let's see, why would that be uh, sounding like a line of bullshit? They were unaware of the allegations. Well, let's take a look at some of the allegations, because if you think it's just the dude fucking other women behind his wife's back, oh, there are many, there are many layers to this. Uh, let's start with this. A public statement posted by Normal Boots on their Twitter account just within the last hour. And I'll, I'll read along as we go here. Uh, this is their official statement. Let's, let's pull up the image. Hopefully that pops up a little bigger for everybody. On April 4th, 2019, an unsolicited email was sent to the Normal Boots business account containing allegations of inappropriate conduct pertaining to Jared. Upon receiving the email, Normal Boots manager Jack Khalil took immediate action to alert the appropriate parties, including, uh, that's that's uh, Jared's last name, Knobber Bobber. I don't know what, the, how do you pronounce that? I'm just going to call him Mr. Knobber Bobber. And the Normal Boots legal team of the allegations. No other member of Normal Boots were made aware of these allegations while the investigation into the allegations was ongoing. Normal Boots understands the seriousness of this situation and does not condone any of the alleged actions by Mr. Knobber Bobber. Prior to these allegations being made public, actions and measures were in process to terminate the affiliation of Mr. Knobberbobber from Normal Boots and to update its internal social media policies. Mr. Knobberbobber and Normal Boots have mutually agreed to part ways. Have you now? What drives Normal Boots is the energy of our supporters. We care greatly about their protection and safety. It's impossible to have a true community if all of us don't feel safe, whether it's an online space or a convention. We are fully committed to the goal and will not tolerate less. Well, what what email is he referring to? What uh, unsolicited email? Well, as you can imagine, when the news of this man's infidelity hit the internet, many girls, many women came forward talking about him sending p dick pics and nudes and asking for nudes and having sexual conversations. Now, none of that was really, you know, unexpected, but there were a few things that popped up that were a little bit surprising. Like, say, this, for instance. Somebody alleging that Jared was hitting them up when they were underage. Content warning. Sexual abuse, underage sexual abuse. Pro-Jared manipulated me via Tumblr. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. When I was 16 years old, I believe Heidi and I believe every other victim. Feel free to retreat to spread awareness of his actions. I won't be answering any questions, not today. I contacted Normal Boots about it. And Jack gave me a response to my email about it. If the company is fought or run right, it should have been brought to your attention. And the email in question that was sent in April, which confirms the uh, allegation that this person was putting out that they didn't uh, indeed contact the company. Uh, Dear Charlie, we received your email dated April 4th, 2019, in which you report alleged inappropriate online messages that you and another individual received from Jared Knobberbobber. No to the general public is bro Jared. On behalf of Normal Boots Entertainment, I want to assure you that the company takes this matter very seriously. We will be conducting an investigation of the allegations set forth in your complaint. Should you have any additional information or documents relevant to this matter that would uh, you'd like us to review as part of the investigation, we invite you to share it with us. Thank you for this uh, bringing the matter to our attention and for your anticipated cooperation. We will contact you again when our investigation is complete. The funniest thing about this, uh, even though it's a dark situation, uh, apparently they sent them images as part of, you know, send us all the material you can so we can investigate. And he emails them back and says, please don't send me child pornography. We're all going to get in trouble. <laughs> oh, normal boots. I, I'm confused. Wasn't Jared just talking a little while ago about how JonTron was the fucking problem holding everybody back? Seems like you guys have stepped in the shit. Of course, you're not the only one. Other people want to join you in the, the shit pile of everything that's going on. Like Peanut Butter Gamer. Uh, when Jared's wife put up her fucking statement about everything that had been going on, he decided to jump in and white knight. This ain't it, Chief. Excuse me? Don't you think this is a bad idea? Yeah, shut your mouth, Heidi. What are you doing? Don't talk about pro-Jared in a bad way. <laughs> you know, let's um let's take a look at his social blade. Real smart move, I'm sure it worked out well for him. It's worked out well so so far for fucking Jared. 
can't imagine Peanut Butter Gamer is going to be suffering any consequences for being a stupid motherfucker. Oh, what, what do you know? I uh, I spoke too soon. Looks like, um, hmm, yeah, it didn't work out well for him either. Let's, uh, let's put this up on screen. <laughs> These fucking people, I swear. Uh, let's see, where is he sitting? Oh, that's a lot of red today, Peanut Butter Gamer. He got dropped below 2 million. God, the records are being set today. Pro Jared goes under a million subs. Peanut Butter Gamer gets knocked back down under 2 million subs. Normal Boots, you know, what's what's Normal Boots sitting at, I wonder? Shall we go take a look at them as well, just to see how their channel's faring? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it's going well for them. Got to make sure I'm not DDoSing Social Blade. Sorry, hold on. Why why are you going to do this to me? Terrible. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's let's go take a look at their fucking metrics and see how it's working out for them. Yeah, it's it's, it's been going well for everybody, I'd say. Nothing uh, nothing nothing bad happening here. Oh, oh, spoke too soon. They've taken the smallest hit, but they've still taken a hit, especially compared to the growth they usually have. So, not not looking good. Not looking good for the Pro Jared camp on your way to it negative hundred thousand subscribers your dick pics are all over the internet my god what were you thinking you goofy fuck <laughs> why would you send your penis pictures out to women when it's that small what compelled you to think that was a good idea hitting up fucking <laughs> allegedly let me be very careful here allegedly hitting up little boys and little girls on tumblr and instagram not a good look jared Looks like your friends finally realized, oh, we may be in the middle of some shit right now. Maybe we shouldn't be commenting on this and bitching at his ex-wife for not keeping her mouth shut when it now looks like we're trying to hide a potential predator at our fucking organization. <laughs> wow. Did not see that coming. God, when I saw this start this morning, I thought, how could this get worse? Oh, but it does. It always gets worse. You don't think it can get worse, but it does, doesn't it, Jared? Oh, yes, I'm aware. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm aware. Uh, people are saying, check out Holly's Twitter. Yeah. Uh, things have gone protected for a little while here. This is the wonderful lady uh, that Jared was fucking on the down low. Now, according to the ex-wife, uh, this lady and Jared were having an affair for at least since fall of last year. Now, why would that particular date be of interest? You might be asking, well, things are about to get a little more spicy for you. Now, let me pull this up because somebody brought this to my attention. Um, well, it turns out this lady used to have a husband, but things didn't go so well. They, they ended up getting divorced. And when exactly did they get that divorce? Well, let's, let's go take a look. When, uh, when did the relationship start to fall apart? Here we go. It's a screen cap of the post the person put up. Sometimes life drags you in separate directions. Today, that is the case. Holly Conrad, the woman that Jared was fucking behind his wife's back, and I have decided to split. It wasn't an easy decision. She wanted to live in a state with trees, but I'm tethered to a state with smog. Still good friends, and there's nothing but love. What's the date on that tweet? September 19th, 2018. And when did the ex-wife say that Jared was having an affair with Holly? Fall of last year. <laughs> Chat, do you see where I'm going with this? Are you starting to see how the timelines sync up with one another? Uh-oh. That's right. Pro Jared broke this dude's marriage up. I want you to take a minute and think about that. This guy ruined his own marriage with a woman, again, that def has even defended his dick size after all of this has happened. Talk about letting the keeper get away, you stupid fuck. But he also broke up this poor son of a bitch's fucking marriage. And this guy, this, this poor motherfucker... I, I guarantee you he knew what was going on, and he still won't shit talk her. Look at that. Just giving a vague reason as to why the relationship didn't work out. These fucking people are scum. Why would you do that to your significant other? What the fuck? Have you no standards? Do you have no shame? If you fall out of love with somebody, can't you just be adult enough to say the relationship's over before cheating on them? Is that such a difficult concept for people these days? No, you've got to have illicit little affairs behind everybody's back. And then it comes out into public. And who looks bad when all of this is going on? Jared does. Holly does. Rubber Ross there doesn't. Jared's ex-wife doesn't look bad. 
And when you're talking about divorce proceedings and who gets what, well, I think we know who got the fans, huh, Jared? Because her Twitter account went from like 20,000 followers to 70,000, while your YouTube channel lost nearly 100,000 subscribers. It's pretty cut and dry. I've watched people shit talk this motherfucker nonstop all day long on every website you could imagine. And it has nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with uh, fucking life ideologies. It's just people are having a gut reaction to Jared being a dumb asshole. And they're all enjoying laughing at him. Everywhere from Kiwi Farms to Reset Era, from fucking 8chan to something awful. The only exception I'd say is the 4chan V-board, where apparently Jared must be friends with a mod because you can't ever get a thread about this motherfucker up and running. <laughs> I don't know if that damage control is going to help you. I think at this point it's pretty much a, a one and done, ain't it, champ? Jesus fucking Christ. So just to recap, just to try, I want to try to put a timeline in place. Early, 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 this morning, late last night, Jared decides to tweet out he's getting a divorce. Shortly afterwards, his wife responds saying that he's blocked her and saying that it's not amicable, that he's been having affairs, that she's aware that he's had affairs, and names this Holly woman as one of the people that uh, was in the affair with him. Moving forward, multiple women come out with nude pictures of Jared, many, many nude pictures of Jared, dick pics of him, sexual conversations. I've seen at least eight chicks so far. It comes out he used uh, Tumblr and Instagram to hit on women. Then after that comes out, People that are claiming to be underage come out and say, he did it to me too. Now all of a sudden, all the people that were defending him get very quiet, having a bit of an anxiety attack, as some of them said. Go off Twitter for a while, and now Normal Boots and other people are putting out statements that read very legalese. We have no association. We're parting ways. <laughs> we were made, made aware of this in April, but uh, we've decided to comment on it now. Worse still, turns out that the this guy having an affair might have actually broke up some other dude's marriage. And on top of it, he shit talks John Tron for a fucking debate with Destiny, saying that's going to look bad, that's going to hold them back. But look at you now, talking shit about John Tron. Oh my god, he said, he said things that weren't good. Well, you've done things that are worse. <laughs> Take a look at your goofy ass. Who are you kidding? I, got, I have so much shit lined up in the air. Uh, looking at all the good... I, I, I don't even know what this is. What is this? Oh, <laughs> yeah! D this is magical. I don't know if me magic. I don't know what you want to fucking call it. It's a video up on his channel. Under Normal Boots Entertainment. Top 10 dicks in gaming. Perfect. That is probably the perfect thing. The most perfect thing I've ever seen on the internet. This dude's dick pics are everywhere. And he's got a video on his channel. Top 10 dicks in gaming. Just brilliant I swear chat I've never I, it's been a while since I've seen a a trash fire of this magnitude I've seen people implode I've seen people delete their channels and rage I've seen people get caught doing dumb disgusting shit but I have I've rarely seen this amount of the internet come together to laugh at one person or this amount of negative attention to be brought down on somebody's head it is stunning that uh, this is going on. Also very interesting that, <laughs> that he's had nothing to say about it. Just mums the word. Don't want to talk about it. Need to keep quiet. Don't want to bring more heat on us. Oh, I I can't look away. This is this has captured my fucking attention for the last for the last twenty hours. You just keep, can't look away. Like this dude has destroyed himself. Oh, I think if we hit it, let me see. Uh, 945, where where does that put him? Yep, he's now at negative 90,000 subs. And, uh, you know, according to my clock, he's got a good five hours to go. Yeah, he's going sub 100,000 tonight. There's no way he's walking away. <laughs> he's walking away under that number. Oh. You know, I was torn on this. I thought, do I want to make a video about it? Or do I just want to do a couple streams here and there to kind of follow along as this shit's happening? I thought, eh, I'll just do some streams. Seems more straightforward. Yeah, where the fuck is this? I had some things bookmarked. Let me see <clears throat> if I can find it. Oh, was this? Yeah, somebody had a conspiracy theory about Ross and Holly's divorce. 
Well, let's let's take a look. This was this was posted back in well, this is four months ago. I don't even know what it is, but people were already speculating the story they were hearing didn't sound exactly on the level from conspiracy grubs. Now, call me crazy or whatever. You feel like calling me, but it's important. But am I the only one who feels like Ross and Holly's divorce was really a one-sided deal? I mean, yeah, they said it was a mutual thing, and they still like and comment on each other's social media accounts every once in a while, but it feels off to me. <laughs> yeah, I think you might be correct, uh, Ross divorce. Somebody give that guy a fucking gold sticker or whatever gay shit they use on Reddit. Because, yeah, I'd say it was a one-sided thing, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by the information we have now, yeah, I'd say that's a, a bit of a one-sided thing, wouldn't you? Oh, my God. I, I, I'm trying to find, there's a selection of images, just to show you. Uh, I think these are non-nudes, so we should be fine showing these on stream. Uh, another person, this was after he deleted uh, this on his personal Tumblr. Uh, this is me and him, edited to not commit crimes of nudity. Thank you very much. A conversation between the two of them sharing dirty artwork. Oh, happy birthday to me. Look at this, <laughs> Look at this pale little motherfucker. Look at nice tits. I think Jared might be an A cup. It, so enjoy. Enjoy my titties. Special one just for you. Oh, we got a dirty picture there. And then uh, he responds, just pulling out the meat and potatoes. Just not even holding back. Take a look, baby. Here it is. Here's my five inches of wonder. Do you know I review Nintendo games? <laughs> do you, you want to fuck now, honey? Oh, God. I really do honestly look forward to the next week of this. Because more information will, of course, inevitably come out. Everybody that has defended him uh, has had a negative reaction from the public. Everybody that's defended him has lost subscribers and followers. He is just fucking falling like a boulder i don't even i don't even know how to describe it just sinking uncontrollably on his metrics there's no recovery from this his penis is plastered on at least 20 different websites people people are reading his erotica his dirty text messages to other people and he looks like a fucking dick <laughs> he looks like a dick just way to go i i cannot stress this enough if you're a content creator or just a you know functional fucking person don't divorce your wife or husband on twitter <laughs> don't do it you know if you if you have an inclination to send somebody a picture of your genitalia just hit the delete button rather than enter save yourself some fucking trouble because eventually it will always be shown to somebody else and now we have to look at little jared's little cock <laughs> Oh, shameful. Just don't do it. Just don't. Don't send people pictures of your penis. Don't dress up as Sailor whatever the fuck it is with your little wang hanging out. <laughs> to try to... <laughs> what the fuck? How did this exist? This shit was going on for years. Why are we just hearing about it now? How many people do you think he worked with who knew about all of this? And just never said a thing. Oh. Little Jared. It's something about dudes named Jared. I don't know what it is. <laughs> they can't help but fucking shoot themselves in the face. Shameful. Okay. I just, I had to get it out of my system, chat. You know, you, you again, it, it was a toss-up. Do a video, just do a couple streams. I went with a couple streams because I'm fucking lazy. And just, I like reading along on this shit. I, you know, just so you know, it's not just... It's not just um, other people, you know, random people that are shitting on him right now. Companies are. Actual companies are making jokes about him. <laughs> let, me see if somebody, let me see if I can find this. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, one second here, chat. Oh, God. This fucking guy. I swear. What an idiot. Oh, where is the? Where is it? Don't don't do this to me. I'll find it here. One second, chat. <laughs> here we go. Uh, you gotta really fuck up pretty bad when this stuff starts happening. 
up, up. Let me pull that picture down. There we go. From Toe Jam and fucking Earl. <laughs> it's a fucking video game. And this, but this lines up. The time lines up exactly for when this information came out. We we just got blocked by somebody named Professor Jared. <laughs> oh, holy shit! God damn, man. Just everybody's talking about it. It's fucking amazing. I've I've heard so many jokes about divorce, cheating on your wife, having a small dick, and dressing up like a woman from the weirdest sources over the last twenty hours. Just getting fucking dunked on by people nonstop. No fucking mercy for Jared. This guy got shit talked by Toe Jam and Earl. Which might I add is a Sega game from Mr. Nintendo reviewer here. I know, I know. He reviews JRPGs, but I just like to think of him as a Nintendo reviewer. It just fits the mold that I've created in my mind. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you, Chad. That's our boy. That's our little boy. And I do mean, I do stress little. That's our itty bitty boy. Fucking up like a rock star. <sighs> My God. <laughs> you think he would have sat down with somebody and asked them, you think this is a good idea? You think uh, announcing to the world I'm divorcing my wife after blocking her, is that a smart play? Is that the way I want to do it? <laughs> what could go wrong? Stupid asshole. Simply fucking amazing. All right, chat. It's a very short stream. I, I did it. It's a bookend. Let's think of it like that. We'll consider this closed unless, I don't know, a fucking eight-year-old comes out against him. Like, if it gets even crazier, maybe I'll continue doing little streams. But I think uh, I think we're getting to the to the, the finale of Jared here. When you've got 16-year-olds and potentially younger coming forward. Again, these are allegations. I don't know if they're true or not. But you can see from the correspondence and from the tweets that Normal Boots put out that they're confirming they did indeed talk to that person back in April. And they looked at the evidence. And they decided, according to their own statement, that they're parting ways. So they must have found something inappropriate about that conduct between the two. So I, I don't know how much worse it's going to get, but if it continues to decline, I'll do another little follow-up. But just keep your eyes peeled. Just keep a lookout for our boy, or our boy Jared here to see how much worse it could potentially get for him. God damn, you stupid motherfucker. What was he thinking? I don't know. I, I Some people, I don't understand them. How the fuck do you review Nintendo games and get it into your head that you can cheat on your wife and get away with it? <laughs> people are going to side with me. I'm fucking around on my wife, but they love my Let's Plays. How could they how could they turn on me? I'm pro Jared. Brilliant. Brilliant thinking. Uh, thank you for joining me. Remember, you are not pro Jared, so your day could in no way be worse than his. No matter what bad news you've heard. If you got fired, if your girlfriend broke up with you, if you broke your ankle, it still would not be as bad as the amount of damage that this dumb asshole has done to himself in the span of twenty hours. You can't recover from this. There is no way, there is nothing that he can say that's going to reverse course. He has imploded himself with a single tweet. I want you to keep that in mind. Yes, his uh, behavior was scummy. But he destroyed himself with a tweet. That is pretty fucking spectacular. And to this degree, I don't think I've ever seen it before. One single fucking post on social media ruined this man's life. Because he hit enter instead of delete. Just don't do it, chat. Don't be a Jared. <laughs> don't be a Jared. Be a John. You know what I mean? Don't be a Jared. Be a John. The three or four things that Flex Tape can't fix. A broken marriage, even then, shown, shown to be slightly more effective than placebo. From Chance Solius. Uh, the army helmet on his hog could stop a fucking sniper round. Why does the rest of it look so thin and, th uh, sick or thin and sickly? I need answers, Jim. Not sure what happened to his cock. There's been quite a lot of discussion about his penis on the internet. I will give him that. Uh, many people are doing forensic analysis of his dick. <laughs> and he tries... The, the, the funniest thing is, this dude, when he sends out dick pics, does what girls, fat girls do on MySpace. There's a certain angle. You can get where it makes it look a different way than it should look. 
and he's he's doing every camera trick in the book. He's got that shit angled at like forty five degrees. The sun's coming in to obscure things. He's pulling down on his testicles and beating them like they owe him money. Just just trying to get an extra inch of a length on that bad boy. Take it easy. Uh, enjoy the shit show. Fingers crossed. Our boy here is gonna hit below. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna lose a hundred thousand subs by the end of the day. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. So we'll see how that plays out. Well, good evening, chat. Hopefully the start of your week is treating you well. Probably better than it's treating Jared. Poor, poor Jared. Oh, lots of developments in the story of our boy, the Pussy Slayer, the Nintendo Let's Player that has got all the the chick's panties a dropping. Oh, they call this motherfucker the slip and slide because ladies get wet when he walks by. Look at that face. That is the face of a modern day Casanova. He knows how to woo the ladies. Apparently, apparently better than most people because he's got chicks fighting over him. There have been a lot of developments that have recently occurred regarding our boy Jared. I'd like to go over some because the girls decided they wanted to get their side of the story out by, uh, you know, uh, giving people an inside look, letting people get uh, a deep, dark look into the world of Nintendo gangbangs. <laughs> I don't know. How would you describe it? I, you know, I don't know how many Luigi costumes and Yoshi costumes were involved, but probably some wild shit. Somebody sniffed a Yoshi egg. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put money down that that probably happened. And we're going to read about it. Now, where to start? Where do we start with something like this? I guess I could give a brief summation of what happened last time, in case you missed that stream. Pro Jarrett, a uh, YouTuber with over a million subscribers on his channel, uh, ran into a bit of an issue when he decided to block his wife on Twitter and announce they were getting a divorce did not go over well but he, he told people hey I want you to speculate to your heart's content about what's going on I'm fine with it come to your own conclusions and so his wife decided to follow up by releasing a statement talking about all sorts of shit as it turned out he was having an affair with somebody uh, that was uh, you know with the information that's come out was married at the time to somebody else uh, we'll get into that later on but fucking around behind her back uh, sending nudes to his fans, getting nudes in return. As the story kind of progressed, we found out that there were two uh, teenagers alleging that he was sending nudes and re you know receiving nudes from them. Uh, so lots of lots of shit going on. Normal Boots released a statement saying they were discontinuing their business relationship with Jared based on the email sent to him by a 16-year-old, a self-identified 16-year-old. Again, this is all uh, speculation. I don't know the people involved, so I can't tell you how accurate it is. But that started a free fall, and in the span of 24 hours, Jared went way under a million subs. He lost 100,000, followed quickly by the very next day loss of 50,000 subs. Not looking good. That is not, that's not what we call winning. That is the definition of getting fucked in your ass. And so Jared kind of slinked off. Nobody really heard from him. He kind of disappeared. And then, you know what? I know the perfect place to start. Let me get this queued up. We'll start it with the uh, the very first statement that he made after his "Hey guys, just a quick update. I'm divorcing my I'm divorcing my wife on Twitter.com. Really smart move, Jared. Can't stress enough how big boy intelligence that was. Uh, let me see if I have got this set up right. Uh, one second here. You know, what? Uh, good enough. Good enough. We're looking at Jared's account right now. Uh, this is the first tweet in question. Uh, there we go. From Jared. Now, this is two days after his announcement. I won't be able to make it to the descent this year, but I hope everyone attending has a great time. Good to, good, uh, good idea. Let everybody know, hey, I can't attend the event. My life is literally on fire right now. Uh, half the internet is mocking the size of my penis. Uh, women are talking about my sexual acts. Children have seen, <laughs> seen pictures of my joystick. Couldn't get much worse. Not going to be able to attend this year. Hope you understand. Have to turn down that RSVP invitation. <laughs> he got shit on so hard in the fucking responses. Pretty great. Pretty fucking amazing. But, you know, he just, he, he needed to take a few days. Our boy needed a few days to really gather himself up to release a, a public statement that people could appreciate. He'd get his side out. You know, he needs to be heard. So let's, here's his, his real statement. This is seven days after the, hey, I'm not going to be able to make it 
uh, I ruined my own life post. And uh, this is his statement, just posted up. I'll read it to you. We'll see what Jared had to say on the whole uh, fiasco. I am deeply sorry to anyone who has seen the accusations of vitriol or unwanted photos that my former partner Heidi and others have posted online since last Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. I find it very interesting. Let me just interject here. That he specifically names the date. I feel a lawsuit coming on. I feel like there's a lawsuit getting ready to be made. The way he wrote that makes me think that somebody's getting sued. The truth is that Heidi and my marriage has been in a bad place for some time, and I never wanted any of those details to become public for both Heidi and my mental well-being. But they have, and the accusations being made now must be addressed. A few years ago, Heidi asked me if we could be in an open, polyamorous marriage. I, <laughs> I recognize now this request and my willingness to go along with it was an unhealthy attempt to solve deeper issues that had developed within our marriage. Heidi has taken several casual partners and has been in a more serious relationship with another partner since 2017. Whether done to make her own actions feel justified, or because she genuinely believed it would help me build self-esteem, Heidi suggested I also engage with other women. Heidi encouraged me to tell Holly that I was developing feelings for her. When I did, things changed with Holly, or Heidi. She became angry and vindictive, did not want to see me or speak with Holly anymore. She called me a cheater and claimed that I was destroying our marriage because of my affair, even though she continued to have other relationships with other partners. I never wanted to destroy our marriage, and I spent months after that doing what I could to repair it through couples therapy and extensive individual therapy. Those close to me have witnessed Heidi's behavior towards me on many occasions and have begged me to leave for some time. I was many things during this time, including embarrassed, scared, and broken, but I was never the abuser. I made several attempts to leave starting in October 2018. But each time she refused to let it happen, threatening to destroy my career and to harm others if I left. Despite all of this, I tried to end things amicably. I helped Heidi find a new place to live and paid the initial deposit. I bought her a car to facilitate her independence. I formally filed for divorce on May 13, 2019, and have instructed my attorneys to make sure she receives her fair share of... Wait a minute. He filed for divorce May 13, 2019. His divorce announcement was May 8th. So let me get this straight, Jared. Another part of your big brain ideas here. You want to announce your fucking divorce before you filed for it. That's smart. I think that's a good idea. You know, nothing is uh, smarter for a man in a situation where he's about to get divorced than giving the wife a heads up that shit's coming down. <laughs> you know, I wanted to piss her off really good and then file for divorce. I thought that's how you handle things and have instructed my attorneys to make sure she receives her fair share of what I have earned while we were together. I genuinely never wanted any of this to happen, but I finally realized that I have no other choice. Even though I've been tempted to put information out online that shows my side of the story, I don't want to further stroke the fires of what would be a private matter between us. My hope is that both of us continue to pursue therapy and come out of the unfortunate situation better people, but I want everyone to know that any other interaction I may have had with any other women were known to and encouraged by Heidi and were had only with the purest and lawful intentions. I am sorry to everyone that I have disappointed. I realize that as a public figure, I am held to a higher standard. Dude, you do Let's Plays on YouTube. <laughs> Here you, you review Nintendo games. Let's back it up a little bit. Uh, I realize that as a public figure, I am held to a higher standard. I have made my share of mistakes. But I have only ever tried to do what's best for Heidi and for me. Oh, that was that was our boy's that was our boy's statement. He really had to think about it for a while. Had to think about it for a while. You know, I, before we even get into the good shit, I just want to say again, this guy is handicapped. Okay, uh, divorces his wife. I I don't even understand the thought process. <laughs> you you block her on Twitter. Then announce you're getting divorced before you've even filed for divorce. Then you file for divorce a week later after she's explained to everybody that basically you can't keep your dick in your pants. I, I think maybe you might have miscalculated. 
I also think based on that statement and uh, how factually specific it was, there's probably a lawsuit coming. Maybe it's a, uh, well, you know, I don't even want to spoil it. If I, if I even give you a hint as to what I'm thinking is going to happen, I'm going to spoil the fun stuff. And the fun stuff is coming up right next. Sadly, the last time I did one of these streams, I had a little bit of prep time. I was reading this for about an hour, but holy shit, these girls have just dumped everything. So we're going to read through it. First would be the side chick, Holly. Now, Holly's got, uh, well, she's got her side of the story. She wants to get it out there, get the truth heard. It's important to her. But first, before we hear about the poor state of Jared and the things that have been done to him, according to Holly, let's uh, take a look at the <laughs> let's take a look at the damage done. Oh, hold on one second. Let me. I had I have a perfect song to go along with this, and I think it's it's important. It's it's important to play this fucking music while we watch this. There we go. Rip and pepperoni, pro Jared. Let's take a look at the damage done to this man. Oh, look at all that red chat. Can I get an F in chat for this man's career? <laughs> look at it! Oh, it's just death. Oh, all oh, that red. Oh, you know, a rip and pepperoni, buddy. I think I think we're gonna take a minute just to let the music build the emotion so we understand what our boy's going through. Poor Jared. Rip Jared's career forever. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg and my arm, even my fingers. The body I've lost. The comrades I've lost. Won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. Don't you? I'm gonna make him give back our past. Oh, it's real emotional. Really gets me. Really gets me down deep, chat. Oh. I can feel it in my soul, chat. Okay. But so we're, we're caught up. All right. I've given you the backstory on Jared. I told you what's happened. I gave you his statement. Now it's time to get into the fun stuff. Holly has decided to release her side of the story, uh, which is, I guess, in an effort to cor to corroborate Jared's side. Uh, Holly, if you remember, would be uh, the lady he was cheating with, and apparently she was cheating on her husband as well at the time. Tragically, uh, they divorced. I guess the husband didn't want to be a cuck. But uh, let's read through. Quite a lot of a, a very large statement. Multiple tweets. Multiple fucking thousand fucking tweets. But we're going to read through it. There's some good shit buried in here. And let's let's see who we believe out of this trio of amazing people. <laughs> who do we believe? Okay. This is from Holly's Twitter account. You can see two hours ago this all started. I'm just going to really um, read from the very beginning. We're going to go through here. For the past year, I've been trying to help someone I care about leave an abusive relationship. I'm telling my story with the receipts I can legally share, with no hate and no vindictiveness. I just need to bring the truth to light regarding Heidi and Jared. These tweets are not meant to spread hate, so please don't use them to bully either of them. What I've experienced for the past 10 days, I do not wish on anyone. I encourage you to spread healing instead of hate. She wants you to spread healing chat like she spread her legs. I'm sorry, Holly. I got to throw it in there. You save them from an abusive relationship by giving them blowjobs. Help. Help. Hey, Internet, help. I'm in trouble. Somebody come save me. Come suck my dick. <laughs> oh, Jim's in trouble. Uh, I've not spoken out sooner because on May 9th, I checked myself into a hospital because I was having a self-harming thought. I'm not ashamed of this at all. It was the right thing to do and I was safe there. It's okay to ask for mental health help when you need it. I heard about Keemstar's coverage while in the hospital and made this in art therapy. You have to be able to laugh at some aspects of a crisis. Fun fact, uh, while she was in lockup in the psych ward, uh, they didn't let her have access to paints. So that is human fecal matter 
She, she made the scheme star sign out of poop. <laughs> so, uh, doctors were very confused. Who's Keemstar? I th is she is she hallucinating? Is she hearing voices? Does Keemstar speak in your head, Holly? Look at me. We're here to help you, Holly. It's going to be okay. Before going forward, I want to make this clear that I do not approve of any influencer exchanging nudes with fans. This behavior is an abuse of power, and that is never okay. Poor bro Jared made poor decisions. That is the understatement of the century, Holly. That said, I've seen relevant receipts which prove that Pro Jared confirmed the consent and ages of those individuals he interacted with. These, accusa er, these accusations have legal ram ramifications for all involved. And for that reason, no one can comment on them or share information publicly. I think one thing to note before we move on here, because she's bringing this up, and Jerry touched on it a little bit. We'll get a picture of our boy up there. Jared touched on it a little bit in his statement when he said that uh, he was hitting on women legally, which I think was his about a roundabout way of talking about this. And Holly's saying she has receipts. Well, here's the thing I find interesting. Um, there was no direct response to the accusation by two self-proclaimed teenage girls and boys. I, I don't know what they are. He, she, him, hers, her, she's, whatever you want to fucking call them. But two, two teenagers that said they exchanged nudes and had sexual conversations with Jared. Now, Holly's saying she's got receipts. Well, Holly, I hope for your sake they really aren't underage, because if pro-Jared showed you nudes of kids, you're fucked too. <laughs> that's going to be, that's going to make your day like ten times worse. I don't know why you would tweet that out. Not something I would have recommended, but I'm not, I'm not a lawyer. What do I know? Maybe Nick Ricade is like, fuck it, fuck it, Holly. Look at all the kitty porn you want. What are they going to do? Get a gun. You can take them. Okay. So, uh, but it didn't address it. Again, I say self-proclaimed, self-identified. I don't know how old these two people are. All I know is they sent emails out to Normal Boots of, with their accusations. And Normal Boots released a statement saying they had been looking into it and had cut and severed business ties with Pro Jared. Now, from my perspective, that would make me think that Normal Boots got nervous when they looked into it, and maybe they were thinking, okay, they're kids, they're teenagers, whatever, uh, we need to cut and run. So I don't know what kind of receipts Holly has seen. I don't know if these, if these people are like, hey, hey, Jared, wink, wink, I know it says I'm 16, but here's my fucking driver's license, state ID, and my birth certificate. <laughs> Put them next to my tits so you know I'm really what I say I am. It's all, it's just play pretend on the internet, Jared. I'm really 18. Look at my perky tits and my birth certificate. Here's my social security card. You can trust me. Please send me a picture of your, your joystick, Jared. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay. I just want you to keep that in the back of your head as we go forward. Because that's one thing people have danced around. I've heard a lot of talk about open relationships and cucking and a bull's life and all that shit. But everybody keeps wanting to just not address the whole teenagers thing. So uh, we'll, we'll just keep it in mind as we move ahead. Anyway, she's saying, hey, don't, don't exchange notes. It's wrong. And I've got receipts proving that everybody was of age. This makes it difficult to speak out. Please know that I do not expect everyone to believe me. But it's not justice to treat every accusation as a conviction. Oddly enough, people can lie on the Internet and omit information. P.S. If you are a consenting adult who swaps nudes with another consenting adult, then posting those nudes on the internet without consent, that's called revenge porn, which is a felony in 48 states. I, this plays right back into his statement. The, the way that was worded, his statement, really makes me think he's going to sue. And now look what she's saying. Hey, if you, if you post nudes of, a, uh, of a, a spouse or a partner without their consent, if you're swapping nudes and you're posting them, it's a felony. I'm going to bet money right now Jared's going to be suing somebody or filing criminal charges on somebody. Whether that's Heidi or another person he sent dick pics to, I don't know. But don't be surprised if that happens in the next week. It seems like he and Holly are setting the groundwork for that. In early 2018, Heidi and Pro Jared, or Heidi told Pro Jared she wanted to explore his feelings for me. She was enjoying the advantages of an open relationship, including a long-term boyfriend and wanted Jared to do the same. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm already... Pff, chat, I'm confused. Maybe I misread something. Let me go back here. Let me go back. I am a foolish man. Maybe I misread something. 
but I'm noticing an inconsistency. Let me see where we are. Let me see where we are. Where are we? Maybe Ooh, I think it was earlier. Uh Okay. Okay. So, uh, Holly said 2017, but Pro Jared says 2018. Uh yeah, I I don't know. That's that's or I'm sorry. Uh Holly said 2018, Pro Jared said 2017. That's a bit of, I don't know. Maybe it's just a small inconsistency. I don't know. We'll continue reading on. Probably reading too much into it. Let's get to the fun stuff. Okay, explore his feelings. She was enjoying the advantages of an open relationship, including a long-term boyfriend, and wanted Jared to do the same. You heard it here first, folks. Heidi wanted pro Jared to have a long-term boyfriend. <laughs> Does that, sh anybody shocked by that? Hey, Hey, I, I know, I know how they're wording it, but I'm just telling you, a man that dresses like this probably wouldn't be too offended if his, if his spouse or uh, significant other said, hey, we need to get you a boyfriend. We need to get you, hey, pretty girl, we need to get you a man, a, a lover, a stud. On February 7th, 2018, Pro Jared took me on a walk, despite having Heidi's full permission to do more. All we did was talk about our feelings. Jared and I were transparent about our discussion with both Heidi and all others involved with the situation. You mean like your husband? <laughs> your husband? I don't know when pro Jared started having feelings, but I didn't realize that I had them at all. Until then. It was like being pushed into ice water. I've talked about being asexual for years. I've never expected to have feelings, and it was terrifying. Even though pro Jared and I had a long-standing professional and platonic relationship, Heidi never wanted us to speak again. She became extremely jealous and vindictive. Both Jared and I were scared of her. They were, they were terrified of the cosplaying elf. Heidi was so angry, I wanted Jared to reassure me that she had consented. He sent me this screenshot. If it makes it easier for you, I will quietly go into the bedroom. You have full permission to do anything you want, and I'm fine, and will continue to be fine. Now, Here's an interesting thing. They're talking about how you can't, you know, share private. How do you know that uh, how do, he could have made the screenshot himself, right? I mean, <laughs> just like uh, 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 women are stupid. So let's take it from the perspective of a guy looking at this. Dude is married to a woman. He wants to fuck another chick. The other chick's like, I'll, I'll suck your dick, but I need to make sure your wife won't hate me for it. And the dude's like, oh, give me a minute, man. Just give me a minute. Runs into the house and jumps on fucking Adobe Photoshop, whips this shit up, and is like, dude, look, look. She's like, you should totally fuck my husband. My husband, he's the best fuck you're ever going to have. And then we can go shopping together and have Thanksgiving dinner. No, totally fuck him. You've got my permission. Here it is. I'm saying it in, I'm saying it in writing. If it makes it easy, this is allegedly from Heidi. If it makes it easier for you. I will quietly go to bed without interrupting. I'm only trying to help, not upset in the least. I've actually been super productive tonight ever since talking to you. I like transparency. I'm also rooting for you. I, I It's a very bizarre thought to think of a woman cheering you on fucking her husband. Oh, and you have my full permission to do anything you want to. P.S. If you decide to stay in the guest room, that doesn't mean you have to bang or anything. I never thought Daith and Strix would be the type to do it right away anyway. Who the fuck are Diath and Strix? They're using the code words. These are their fucking convention names. What anime are these two from, I wonder? But you know them better than me. Don't worry about me and do what works. I'm fine and will continue to be fine. <laughs> Please respond if you can! I'm sorry. I... Uh, <laughs> what? Hey. Just wanted to let you know, I want you to fuck my husband. Are, are you there? Please, anybody? Hello? Academics? <laughs> Academics, please respond. I need you to fuck my husband. It's important. Academics, please. Please. Please straddle my husband. He needs, he needs, he needs a dicking badly. You don't know what it's like playing Nintendo games your entire life. Oof. Oof. It's everything, okay? Okay. Wish you would have texted me, but good night anyway. And then there's a response. Sorry, we went for a walk with lots of soul searching. 
Wait a minute. To reassure me that she had consented, he sent me this screenshot. Sorry, you went for a walk with lots of soul searching. Okay, so that's that's coming from him. I tried apologizing multiple times to Heidi. I tried gifts and words, but nothing was enough for her. I wasn't even sure what I was apologizing for. I just wanted to make her feel better and not angry. But there was nothing I could do or say. Maybe because she never wrote that. Maybe, maybe, maybe this dude did. And then you walk up to this chick, and she has no idea what the fuck you're talking about. As you're like, "Hey, I just want, I just wanted to thank you for letting me fuck your husband." <laughs> no wonder she was mad. She continued to be enraged. I conveyed to her that I was happy just to be friends and professional colleagues with Jared. Her response was a fit of rage. Later in February 2018, she called me from Jared's number and howled, "I want my husband to think of me, not you, during sex." What? Oh, I just, you know, again, if you if you exist on the internet in any capacity, especially if it's semi-professional, if you're making some money on YouTube, if you're a Twitch person, whatever, don't have a relationship where you put this, these people are insane. <laughs> They're all insane. Don't publish your fucking private shit online. It's stupid. I want my husband to think of me and not you during sex. I God, I wish there was a sound clip of that. Even though Jared and I had not been physical at all, Heidi called me from Jared's phone and screamed. I asked her what she wanted me to do, telling her I'd do anything to help her feel better. All she did was scream, Go away! <laughs> home record, go home! Get out, you get out of here! You filthy whore! I want, I want my big dick husband, the man in the pretty dress, I want him to... Uh, this is my man! <laughs> get your own man, slut! <laughs> Go away! Oof. I hung up on her in fear and texted Pro Jared that he needed to leave this abusive relationship. After experiencing her wrath, I turned my concern to Jared's safety. At this point, I knew communicating with her wouldn't work. Jared and I went a long stretch of time afraid to communicate outside of our D&D game. Heidi openly fantasized about ruining our D&D show because it meant so much to us. She would use this to control him. He would send me, again, he would send me texts when she er, when he was scared. So, <sighs> he's sending you all of these. These are So far, we haven't come across one text from her to Holly. Again, let's, let's see what it says. I'll talk to her later today. I don't want to keep seeing you suffer. Please don't do anything drastic. Because, at least, that would feel like less of an insult to my dignity than staying quiet and pretending nothing's wrong which is what I've been doing for weeks. Okay, I think I would take it to blank before the general public, to be quite honest. It would be highly embarrassing and unprofessional for everyone. Like, at this point, I'm fantasizing about sabotaging the game. So bear that in mind. I'm going crazy, Jared. Would be a bummer to destroy everything you've built. But it would be way more of a bummer to destroy myself by putting up with your shit. Please, allow talks to happen. You're right that this has gone on for far too long and she probably wasn't going to do shit. I'm going I'm going fucking mental, Jared. Don't make him That's an awfully nice thing you have, Jared. Be ashamed if something happened to it. Oh, okay, where are we? I'm ready to go down with the ship, to be honest. I cannot live like this. Sorry. I can't talk on the phone right now. Sound people and trying to figure out fights and carry food. Okay. I'm falling apart, LOL. And my phone is at 16%. Cool. Fuck me. Man, I wish I could destroy dice camera action. That would feel so good. That would suck for you, but it would be really unfair. I don't know. I probably sound really cruel right now, but this is a result of weeks of suffering. I'd love to see someone who caused this situation experience a fraction of what I've been feeling. <laughs> oh, dude. Don't fuck. Let's just, you know, we're going to give you another, another little bit. Let me put up the trending pic. There we go. That's, that's from Jared's fucking nightmare earlier on. Another a little piece of advice from Uncle Jimmy. Uh, don't fuck crazy. Uh, if you stick your dick in crazy, your life's going to go down the drain. Jared's really, he's made a lot of bad decisions so far. Uh, one, sending pictures of your penis to anyone on the internet, that would be a big mistake. Uh, blocking and divorcing your wife on Twitter, another big mistake. Announcing your divorce before filing for the divorce, another big mistake. And finally, fucking crazy women. And letting them talk to each other while you're doing it, ballsiest thing you could do, 
totally insane. Don't know why you would ever think that's going to work out. <laughs> you don't. You don't. If you're saying your wife is crazy and your side hoe is crazy, and you're fucking them both, and then you're letting them talk to each other, you may as well just buy a noose and kick a chair, right? Because you're fucked either way. Uh, so don't stick your dick in crazy. Not a recommended, <laughs> recommended approach if you want to live a sane, happy fucking life. <laughs> what a stupid motherfucker this guy is. Uh, Jared, I'd like to re- I'd like to recommend that you go read Black Twitter. All right, I think Black Twitter can give you some sound advice for some side pussy. Yeah, they've got a good sense of humor about it, and I I think maybe they could steer you in the right direction because your dumb ass is just making critical mistakes at every moment. <laughs> I'm gonna let the chick I'm cheating with talk to my wife. What could go wrong? Real smart, big brain shit coming from Jared today. Uh, not wanting the marriage. Oh, okay. Not wanting the marriage and her control to end. Heidi constantly threatened Jared, saying that she would ruin him, publicly accuse him of being a cheater and being an abuser if he went through with the divorce. Sorry, I had to cough there. Got a little bit of a cold. Jared, I've been very patient, and I'm telling you all this instead of acting on it because I'm still exercising patience, but I need things to start happening. I know more than you ever should be, or I know more than you ever should have had to. Like, I really need it? I don't know how to make that any clearer. I am desperate. That makes me dangerous. I'm ready to start ruining all of our lives. Okay, I understand. I will try. I'm sorry I couldn't do more while I'm here, but I will do anything I can. I mean this. it has been weeks of inaction. Not a few days, but okay. I hope you can come home today, because also dangerously close to contacting her again myself. (laughs) This is what I'm talking about. Again, these are alleged conversations between Jared and his wife that he has screenshotted and sent to his side chick, where she's basically like, hey, I'm going to fucking burn your room down. I'm going to take all your little gay Nintendo games. I'm going to fucking drive over them with our Jeep. I'm going to drive over your gay little Nintendo games with our Jeep, Jared. And then I'm going to tear my clothes off and shit in the lawn. And when the neighbors ask me why I've gone batshit insane, I'm going to tell them my husband's fucking a whore. Jared, is that what you want to come home to? Maybe you should get home. Oh, are you busy right now? Oh, I'm sorry to tell you that collectible Mario statue. Uh, looks like somebody took a fucking sledgehammer to it, Jared. Don't fuck with me. I'm insane. Brilliant. This is bad in a thousand. Pro Jared's fans witnessed Heidi's abuse. They watched Heidi scream at Jared at parties, at conventions, on planes, and in his own home. There was more than one intervention to encourage him to separate from her. They were scared for Jared's safety. Yuck. Okay, hold on a second. Let me, I just, I'm going to put this picture back up. Uh, do either of these women look scary to you? Okay, do either of these two look like they could do any physical harm to you, aside from cry and maybe tell people about your penis on Twitter.com? Aside from that, <laughs> these two, I, you could fight them off with one arm. It'd be like some old cartoon, like a windmill punching at you as you just hold her at length. They're like five foot nothing. <laughs> what are they gonna? She gonna use her fucking foam Nerf bow from her cosplay to attack you? He's scared for his safety. She's obviously, she's obviously very dangerous. She threatened to use the master sword from her Zelda cosplay to cut his penis off. I mean, sure, it's made of rubber, but she'd find a way to make it work. After four attempts to separate, involving all kinds of therapists and lawyers, Heidi only agreed to move out after she illegally obtained pictures and texts that she could use as leverage for her revenge campaign against Jared and myself. Well, shit, Holly, I'm, I guess I'm going to have to ask, if she's illegally obtaining these conversations and pictures, aren't you doing the exact same thing by posting these conversations and pictures that Jared took pictures of and gave to you? Like, like what do you mean? She illegally obtained, the, or obtained them from her husband? Jared did not divorce Heidi on Twitter. Uh, Heidi made the first post regarding the relationship ending, and it was full-on false information. Jared wanted to keep this pr- a private matter. We were terrified of Heidi, or Heidi based on her numerous threats and extortion. That's not true. From the very first stream, you can even see the time dates. Uh, Jared made his announcement, and two hours later, Hei- or Heidi responded. Made the first post regarding the relationship ending. I Where? That I mean, that's legitimately not true. Right? Am I crazy, chat? Uh, you got to help me out here. I could go digging for it, but these chicks t- 
tweet so much we'd be scrolling for like an hour. But I'm fairly certain, didn't she respond after he had uh, blocked her and announced the divorce on Twitter? <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Okay. Well, yeah, I guess we can dig that up later. I don't know. There's so much to read, so bear with me. On May 7th, 2019, Heidi moved into her new home and made the following post on Facebook. Maybe this is what she's talking about. She accused Jared of cheating on and abusing her in front of all our mutual friends, family, and our professional colleagues. She was the first one to make a public statement. Okay, she's clarifying. So on Facebook, she made a statement. I recently discovered that my husband Jared has been cheating on me for many months. He lied to me extensively on many occasions, going so far as to blame me for being suspicious and making me feel like a bad person by questioning his loyalty. Turns out my gut was right. I have some extremely explicit proof. The other, women, or the other woman is another popular YouTuber. I think this is in line with what she said on Twitter. We don't need to reread the whole thing. It sounds very similar, but she's saying she posted this first on Facebook, Jared announced his divorce, and then Heidi followed up two hours later. When Pro Jared responded to Heidi's Facebook post neutrally, she enacted the vengeance she's been planning for a long time. She lied about not being poly and approving of the nudes. She slut-shamed me. She did not mention her long-term boyfriend or threats. Long-term boyfriend? Oof. We were walking around the con and a girl asked me for a photo. So we just did a basic pose. Then she was like, can it be a pairing photo? Anyway, that made my day blank forever. Yes. Ma er, wants to watch... Okay. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on. Wants... Wants to watch me suck your monster dong. Good morning. I, I don't know whose name that is, but so-and-so wants me to wants to watch me suck your monster dong. You know, we need to have a conversation. Last time I did one of these streams, I got so many motherfuckers yelling at me. I said Jared has a small penis. And so many people got very fucking angry at me for saying that. I stand by that statement. And if these women think that he has a monster cock, give me your phone number. <laughs> because I'm apparently a fucking stallion. <laughs> I, I don't know where these girls... This must be the first penis they've ever interacted with. Both of these innocent, snow-driven, pure virgins. Probably never seen a porn video. <laughs> Monster dong. The amount of people out there. Oh, he's got a... That's not a small dick, Jim. What are you talking about? You're all insane. <laughs> this dude... <laughs> this dude would be embarrassed in a junior high locker room to take his shorts off. These women, I don't know what they're talking about. If you've seen the joystick picture, or the real thing, you should have a basic idea. <laughs> Monster dong! Look at this motherfucker! <laughs> what, is, what is going on? How is a guy that does Nintendo reviews, <laughs> fucking Let's Play videos, slaying this much pussy? <laughs> How is, he, how is he fucking this many women and convincing them that he's got, like, Ron Jeremy's cock on him? I don't understand. Is it mind control? Is he, is he like, fucking Houdini? Is he hypnotist? What is it? Ah, oh, sorry. I just I needed to put that out there. I keep seeing this come up, and I, I, I don't understand it. I don't know what the fuck you people are talking about. Okay. What a coincidence. I want to watch you suck it too. I love you. I'm having a great day today. I'll call you later. Are you busy at any particular time? Blank says he wants you to show me how to fuck me. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, guessing that's a dude's name. Dude says he wants you to show him how to fuck me. Maybe you could take turns passing me back and forth. How does that sound? How does that sound? No response. No response for two fucking hours. Now we're four hours later. Four hours later. It makes me really anxious when you look at my messages but don't respond. Considering the circumstances, I need your reassurance. Sorry. I'm okay. Just in a blah mood. I'm not getting much done. I just finished the walk. I wonder I wonder what put him in a blah mood. Could it be the fact his alleged wife sent him a message saying, Hey, uh, the dude that's plowing my ass right now would really love for you to come by and watch his technique. Maybe you could give it a grade. He says he watches your YouTube videos, loves your review technique. How many out of ten would you give him for his technique when he has me spread eagle on the bed and his balls are slapping against my ass? Can <laughs> you critique him? Maybe we can make it like a YouTube video. 
be really fun for the fans. Highly interactive. Jared, why aren't you responding? Please respond. It's been four hours. I'm starting to feel a little nervous here. Why is my husband upset that I want him to critique the man that's fucking me? On Facebook, Heidi called what she did a public execution of Bro Jared, and it was incredibly hard for me to experience, seeing the internet rally around Jared's abuser to mercilessly harass both of us with no evidence beyond Heidi's words. It put me in a dark spot. Uh, this is from the 17th. I, I, I'm assuming this is Heidi's Facebook. I don't know. I haven't looked at her Facebook, but I don't think Holly has a reason to lie about this. Uh, what of my super irrelevant ghost of Christmas past ex-boyfriends watched me publicly execute Jared and still thought he had an opening to send me a lame, poetic, fake, heartfelt message like we were, like we were going to do or have a nostalgic reconnection. We dated when I was 17. My private response to opening the message was, Damn, I remember this guy cheating on me too. My direct response to him was, uh, Through this, I learned to stop taking bullshit from condescending men. Goodbye. Pro Jared's friends, who knew the details of the abuse, had urged him to uh, leave bravely, spoke out to defend him, but were quickly vaporized by the one-sided, misinformed hate machine that Heidi had activated. Meanwhile, Heidi gloated on Facebook, bragging that she'd been retweeted by Perez Hilton, joking that Pro Jared was now more famous than ever because of her accusations and drinking white Zinfandel, adding insult to injury, she tried to steal his gold play button. Fantastic. I like this image of Heidi. Holly, you're doing a good job painting her as like a cartoonish Bond villain, sitting there stroking her cat, sipping on white Zinfandel, with his stolen golden play button, laughing maniacally as his world burns to the ground. <laughs> She's cosplaying as pure evil. I could not, for the life of me, find Jared's gold play button. That's the plaque they sent out to people who crossed the 1 million subscriber threshold. I found a silver button, but not the gold one. I would have been the perfect thing to steal from him. Holy shit. Because if he asked about it, I could say, Oh, God damn, this, that's fucking harsh. It'd be the perfect thing to steal from him, because if he asked, I could say, What million subscribers? Anyway, I guess this is my confession of innocence. I didn't steal it, but I would have if I could. I kind of suspect now that he doesn't have one, because if I recall correctly, can I just say that is fucking vicious as shit? Like, I wanted to steal this award he got for hitting a million subs, but because I've destroyed his fucking life in the span of 24 hours... When he comes to confront me about it, I can be like, what subscribers, motherfucker? I kind of suspect now that he doesn't have one, because if I recall correctly, you have to manually request that they send one to you. Jared o or Jared's always been really weird about following through on that. Uh, even over something that should have been as exhilarating is getting one million subs. Well, if it had been Monday, Matt, he'd have been on, like, he'd have been on that like flies on shit. Anyway, if he didn't really follow through on requesting one, it's even more fitting that, uh, than me stealing it. Once again, falling prey to his own folly. Maybe he was too busy taking dick pics with my closet vanity lighting. <laughs> I, probably, I thought for a second we were getting in trouble. I thought that was a picture of his dick. This is some weird furry cosplay. Some kind of fucking... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you, penis mitten. I don't know what you'd call it. Perez Hilton retweeted me. I whisper in his little fuzzy ear. He doesn't give a shit. All right, let's continue going. If Heidi truly felt that she had to flee her abuser, would she ever go back to the house of the person she claims abused her? Jared paid for movers, and they'd already finished by then. Survivors typically avoid their abusers out of real fear, the way Jared has, and I have. Leaving an abuser in difficult, or leaving an abuser is difficult. It takes survivors on average of seven times to leave for good. The months pro Jared tried to separate from Heidi were excruciating. I was worried about him all the time. He was broken, and I was powerless, barely able to even talk to him. Beyond the satisfaction of revenge, Heidi received 100,000 new Twitter followers by publicly and falsely accusing me of ruining their marriage and labeling Pro Jared as an abuser. She began using the attention from the crisis to promote herself. I do believe that's true. She did gain like 100 to 110,000 uh, subscribers on Twitter, and I think like 20,000 on YouTube. Uh, from Heidi, number five in the United States, baby, said I made him more famous than he's ever been before. Honestly, yeah. This is an insanely positive outcome to a horrible situation that I couldn't predict. I don't know if it'll last. Uh, I don't know if it'll last me the rest of my life or whatever, but I'm definitely going to savor it. Another one from Heidi on May 9th. 
I genuinely, or genuinely did not expect this to be my day. I figured his friends would defend him, his fans would hate me, and it would finally be over. The being over part was what I was really looking forward to. Uh, if you want a recap, you can read about it in Newsweek. For anyone worried, I'm chilling in bed with my cat. I've got some white Zinfandel, a sandwich, and a new TV. I'm going to be fine. The experience has fundamentally changed my relationship to the internet. I'm still here, still putting myself out there, but it's never going to be the same. Heartfelt thanks to everyone who didn't comment cheater and whore <laughs> on my post. Big thanks to all you tweet hearts who stuck by me. You waited so patiently as I recovered and processed enough to be able to tell my side of the story. I appreciate and love you all. And that would be, that's, that is the, those are, I should say, the statements that Holly has put up. So what are we looking at? Oh, sorry, chat, let me light a cigarette. Oh, I need a smoke after that one. Story initially breaks. Uh, so this is what I do know. Jared did block his wife. He did put up the divorce statement. Now she's showing screen caps saying that Heidi was talking about it first on Facebook. Maybe that's true. I really don't know. But I do know on Twitter she didn't respond until after the divorce announcement. All this information comes out. Now Holly's talking about why, you know, all these people sided against Jared. Why would they do that? Because a lot of what Heidi was saying was he's interacting with his fans and sending out dick pics. And then a flood of people all started posting his dick pics. Like a bunch of women did. And I think as bad as that looked, maybe it could have been shuffled around a little bit. But then you had people that were claiming to be 16 and 15 year old, or years old that were hanging out on his secret tumblers, uh, blogs, and other fucking websites saying that they were exchanging nudes with him and that he was cool with it. That, I think, was the... That was like the point of no return. I think once people saw, you know, teenagers accusing him of it, uh, things really went tits up for him. And I think, it, you know, all these women coming forward and showing all these dick pics of our boy here, the one that you all, for whatever reason, keep saying has a monster dick. <laughs> You're all insane, by the way. That's when things went... That's when things went south. Now, Holly's response to all of that is, uh, their marriage was bad for years. For years, it was terrible. Jared was uncomfortable. He was unhappy. He didn't want to be in the marriage anymore. Apparently, he was the cuck initially with Heidi having other long-term relationships and trying to get him to be into other long-term relationships. Had casual, I guess, fuck buddies. Had a long-term boyfriend on the side. Tried to convince him to do it. Said, go fuck Holly for whatever reason. Holly and Jared uh, started up a relationship. And then Heidi got very jealous and very fucking angry. And it went into a crazy spiral where Jared finally just called it off and announced publicly he was going to get a divorce. And all this shit behind the scenes, all these messages she's claiming are, are real, which again, I'd like to state, are screen caps that Jared sent her. You know, if she's talking... Uh, here's what I find weird, Holly. Like, if you're talking to Heidi, then you two have each other's phone numbers. You're texting to each other too, right? Put up some text of you two talking, not shit Jared sent you. But that's that's an aside. So, <laughs> so who's cucking who? Like, what's who's the cuck here? Somebody, Somebody's getting cucked. Somebody's doing the cucking. You know, was it Heidi initially cucking Jared? Did Jared secretly cuck Heidi and make up fake messages to convince Holly to fuck him? This is like some kind of daytime soap opera. How could you not want to follow this shit? <laughs> what is going on? Why, why, why are you people doing this publicly? That's probably a really good question, I think. Terrible decision to put out your sex lives and your relationships online. Everybody's going to laugh at it, regardless of which direction it's going to go. <laughs> you know, actually, I think I have a song that really, you know, my, this, God, I, I love this song, and I finally have a fucking excuse to use it in context. Oh, God. Let's, uh, let's put this up. Oh, I hope I can find the right one. Yep, here we go. On the question of who's cucking who, here we go. We got to find Oh, <gasps> 
Yes. Now what do we do? I see you, Chad. I see you exploding. Everybody's screwing Jim. Gotta go check out. Gotta go check out Heidi's. I'm I'm planning on it. Let's let's go do that now. Oh, apparently Heidi's throwing up. I'm guessing her side of the story. So let's let's take a look at it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So let's uh, let me let me scroll down and see where this is all starting. It looks like she's got it. Goddamn! <laughs> I wish you girls would make YouTube videos so it's easier to, <laughs> to digest all this shit. Uh, and yes, Chad, I see you, there's a lot of super chats. I will get I get I'll get to them at the end of the stream. Uh, but I, I, let's we've got a lot to dig through. So let's go take a look at Heidi's Twitter and see what her side of it is. We've heard Jared's. Well, we've heard Heidi's, and we've heard Jared's, and we've heard Holly's, and now Heidi's got a response. So let's go read it. Let's see what we got. Uh, I think it believe. I'm going to say it starts about here. As far as my supposed long-term boyfriend goes. She's assuming a lot. During the time Jared and I explored polyamory, I was long-distance messaging someone in another state. I ended that myself when I told Jared that I needed to ask him for monogamy after he'd broken my trust. Okay, okay, all right, here. I'm sorry, Chad. Let's let's do it from here. Okay, Holly's Twitter uh, thread is full of lies. She's exaggerating and twisting details and taking Jared's word on a lot of stuff and running with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But most importantly, the heart of her argument is, I was just trying to help my friend leave his wife by having sex with him. As far as I can tell, the whole point of these posts is to make me look bad. She's not adding clarity to her decisions to uh, secretly sleep with a married man. She's just saying, look how awful his wife was. <clears throat> and then she goes into the, I had a, uh, a boyfriend across state lines. I wanted to leave that person out of this because it's super irrelevant. I took steps to be fully transparent with Jared, make sure he knew he was always my first priority, and that he could expect the truth from me. I never had anything to hide from Jared, period. Nothing I found on Jared's phone was illegally obtained. My lawyer, I uh, told you guys, I told you this is going to get crazy legal. My, uh, where are we? My lawyer assured me of that. It's community property, purchased during our marriage, unlocked in the house. I picked it up, discovered horrifically explicit proof of their ongoing affair, that they were lying about. They want to catch me on technicalities. Oh, you shouldn't have looked. I'm grateful I looked. If I hadn't looked, I would have left the marriage crushed, but the belief that what Jerry and Holly said about me is true. It's all their excuse for fucking. I never pretended to be blameless. What I did say uh, is that I made every effort to communicate with Jared and correct my mistakes. During the time, he was in uh, intensely gaslighting me lying to me and giving me the silent treatment every time I tried to have an earnest conversation. What Holly saw, and the rest of Jared's friends saw, was my frustration boiling over after days, weeks, months of silent treatment and neglect from Jared. He broadcast my frustrations and acted like they came from nowhere uh, to support his narrative that I'm a bad person. And that's exactly what Holly's doing right now. She's open up talking about how good her intentions are then devolves into rambling mess about how I'm a terrible person and that the and that's the whole point she's justifying her behavior with a smear campaign take that as you will and I think she has some more responses let me let me see what we got here all I want to get out of this or all I, uh, all I want is to get away from these awful people and the reach of their social influence I held my tongue about all of this until Jared stated publicly or started publicly gaslighting me with his initial divorce statement. He isn't entitled to secrecy for cheating on me. Neither is his mistress. I want to go back to posting cosplay and art. That's what I've been doing. The only reason I ever deviated from that was to defend myself from my abuser's public lies. They've been focused on discrediting me. I'm focused on breaking free and starting over. Uh, yeah, this was uh, my first ever initial attempt to be supportive. I discovered that they were not capable of being honest with me in spite of my unwavering support. That was deeply hurtful, so I stopped trusting them and asked, if to, uh, asked it to stop. She's distracting you. What is? Can you elaborate on this conversation? Oh, well, there's your confirmation. I thought maybe those were fake messages Jared made up, uh, but she's confirming they are in fact real. So what Holly posted on her timeline is legit. This was after the aftermath of that night, when I tried to be supportive and they ignored me for hours. I went to bed sobbing, thinking Jared was hooking up with her without ever acknowledging me. Hey Heidi, I'm so sorry for all the lost sleep and upsetting shit that happened this weekend. I want to apologize in any way I can for any shittiness I brought to you. 
I get so scared that you hate me because you're so nice and pretty. <laughs> oh, God. You're, like, so nice and pretty. And, like, I totes don't want you to be upset at me because I'm fucking your husband. And I know that's stupid, but that's why I was afraid to talk. And I know Jared has told you everything, so you know how fucked up I am. LOL. Uh, this says it's from Holly, I guess. I'm also sorry I didn't say bye, and I hope we can still talk more and still be friends. <laughs> can we? I, you know what's really important to me here? Uh, that we remain friends. Like, look, okay, I fucked your husband. I get it. A little bit upsetting, but if our friendship can survive me fucking your husband, I think we're, <laughs> I think we're on solid ground. Hey, Holly, I don't know if Jared told you this, but probably the only... Uh, well, it, it, it went somewhere else out there. Um, here's more, I guess, from Holly. I approached him earlier that day and insisted that he finally address the tension growing between you two because it was incredibly obvious to me, and I was tired of playing dumb being treated like I'm stupid. I intentionally stayed out of the way, gave you space to let things play out. I've been so open and supportive to Jared about all of this, and in return he has lied, denied, and left me hanging for hours without a word of acknowledgement. I literally don't know how I could have been any more accepting, and felt like he spat in my face about that. Every conversation I've had with him about this has been uh, because I brought it up at breakfast when neither of you, oh, what is when neither of you could bring yourselves to acknowledge what was going on to me, even though we are clearly new. I thought that was incredibly cowardly of both of you. It's not my responsibility to address your actions. I was left feeling like, is this how you are treating me in the face of unwavering support? How can I ever trust you to be straight with me? I know. It was an accident that you forgot the phones, but it resulted in one of the most emotionally eviscerating experiences I've ever had. And nothing can change that. I went through this alone. I'm glad you weren't fucking without telling me. But I haven't been able to shake the raw betrayal. I'm really sorry. If there's anything I can do for you, please tell me. All I want is transparency and honesty from you both. I'm going to need a lot more of what uh, than what either of you have given me so far. And you're right. I know that's what's happening now, and that's made... Oh, I think we have one more here. And you're right. I know that's what's happening now, and that's made it a lot easier for me to process, and honestly, that's because you had bigger balls than either of us, and I'm just completely lacking in emotional experience. Anything you want to talk about or ask me, please do. I'll tell you whatever. I literally didn't know what any of this shit was until now. I'm so sorry it took me so long. Ugh. Oh. Okay. I, I, I make of that what you will. I, I, I think we can follow along who's talking to who, but they're both they both have names with H in them, so I don't, I don't know who's talking to who on that specifically. I'm now in a position where the fact that I tried to embrace the idea of them being together is being used against me. Holly and Jared hurt me deeply. They both knew exactly how I felt about polyamory in the end. I asked them to stop and followed suit by ending my own relationship. They're scrambling to make it look like they had my permission to be together. Or that I somehow uh, am a hypocrite doing this or during the same time. No, I was straightforward with my expectations, and gave Jared the same respect. I honored him above all others. Uh, response to somebody: the "I got scared you'd hate me because you're so nice and pretty" comment has haunted me since Holly sent it to me. I'm not so responsible for the insecurity she projects onto me. Being nice or pretty does not make someone hateful. I think that is. Uh, those are all the responses. I've been coping with humor. Okay. Looks like there's a few more here. Uh, when I asked him for clarification on how I was hurting him so that I could take a good hard look at myself and improve, he couldn't give me a straight answer beyond, you make me anxious. And finally, I was trying hard to take the action to address my own behavior. That's been my focus the entire time. I believe in that. Having him tell me, you just make me anxious in spite of my great efforts uh, to be loving, devastated me. That is a lot to digest. All right, Chad. I've I've talked for an hour now. Let me let me see what Chad thinks. Chad, you tell what the fuck is going on here? All these open relationships, polyamory, people cucking each other. He sheds or he said, she said, everybody's in an extra relationship. <laughs> it always ends in tears, doesn't it? Have, uh, can you name an open relationship that doesn't blow up like this at some point? <laughs> the internet just makes it a hundred times more public. Uh, yes, chat. This is a Kojima. This is a Kojima uh, idea. <laughs> it's, it's a plot for the next Metal Gear. <clears throat> right, lots of shit going on. Let's see. 
Uh, maybe Holly responded with something. Well, we'll take a quick look at that. But I think that I think that brings us up to speed. I'm trying to make sure I read everything and give them both their fair shake. Uh, seeing a lot of people in chat saying degeneracy. Uh, p perhaps, perhaps, chat. I don't know. This is a really bizarre fucking story. That it became so public, that it was handled so publicly, I think was a massive mistake. Second only, as far as mistakes go, to being in an open relationship. I don't know who fucking suggested it first. It sounds like Heidi. Uh, but terrible decision. You can't take, uh, you know, your, your sacred vows with one another and then start fucking other people and not expect that everything is going to go tits up. People have a real hard time dealing with the emotional baggage and jealousy of watching the person they're married to having sex with somebody else. <laughs> you both are idiots for even trying it. Now, as far as Holly goes... I don't. You, you were married at the time, weren't you? So like, you're, you're you're blowing up two relationships. You're blowing up your own relationship, and you're blowing up their relationship. And I'm just gonna leave the name of the guy you were married to out of this because I feel bad for him. I think everybody does. When this when this came out and everybody was talking about it and putting together timelines, they felt bad for him because he seems like such a nice guy. But fuck if I know. Who knows what conversations are going on behind the scenes? Maybe every maybe this whole group of people. It's like a cock carousel. Everybody's just taking a one once around. Let's everybody have a ride. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Terrible decision making at every step. Uh, chat, he got cocked. Some people are saying vengeance. Uh, other people saying uh, Holly is a tard. I'm getting some Fs in here. Hopefully my stream didn't just go down. Not sure what's going on. F for degeneracy. I see. There we go. Well, we're caught up. I, I As the internet turns, I thought it was a fitting title because, again, this is like a fucking soap opera. I'm sure it'll keep expanding. Uh, I, I will say this. These are my predictions. I think Jared's going to sue somebody or report somebody to the police. Um, I think that... I, I don't know who that's going to be, if he's going to go after Heidi's ex-wife. It just feels like there's. It feels like everybody's starting to talk in a legal manner. She's talking to a lawyer. He's talking to a lawyer. He's putting up statements that are worded in a way that makes me think somebody's getting sued. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if that happens in the next week or two. That somebody's getting a visit by the cops. That somebody's getting a su uh, uh, not a summons, but um, a civil suit slapped on them. Who knows? I think more DMs will leak. I mean, here here's my suggestion as the guy that's sitting back laughing at this ridiculous shit for what it's worth. Holly and Heidi. In for a penny, in for a pound, right? Like, I mean, if you're going to do it, go balls deep. And I mean really balls deep, not Jared balls deep where it's like two inches in. I'm talking like the full foot-long fucking. If you're going to start dropping DMs, drop them all. Just go nuclear with it, girls. We'll, we'll read them. <laughs> and we'll all read them, and then we'll tell you whose side we believe. But fuck it, what do you have to lose? You should all just take your phones right now, download every text message conversation you've had, and post it on Twitter for our amusement. I think, chat, do you agree with me on that? Should they do that? I think that's a smart decision. <laughs> I think that's the decision that they should be doing. I, yeah, chat's agreeing with me. At least that's what I'm telling myself. I'm saying that's what they're going for. A lot of John Tron ones in there. I see a chat. Boy, he's been... I don't. I wonder what his reaction to this is. You know, I will say there are a lot of people on the sidelines that seem to have, or would seem to have, a, you know, a reason to speak out about this uh, because maybe they've been wronged in the past, but have been very adult about it. I think John Tron's one of them. Hasn't really, hasn't really taken any shots. He seems like a nice guy, doesn't he? Jared. Boy, John Tron seems like a really nice guy, huh? Uh, yeah, seeing a lot of people saying, just do it. Magnum, maximum donging. Heidi Holly, I think it's time for the maximum dong. You need to just upload all of this shit. <laughs> I bet you Keemstar would love it. I mean, he made him a sign, Holly. All right, and he, he appreciates that sign. I think you should send him every text message. Just fuck it. Just go for it. And Heidi, you can send all yours to me. And then Keem and I can compare notes. <laughs> That's how we can handle it. Okay. 
Well, I, I hope you've all enjoyed this. Um, again, you know, even regardless of how you view the exact outcome of of what these people are doing, I guess <laughs> I could, at the very least, I could say you could use it as an example of what not to do in your relationship. I would think that, um, yeah, you know, you just take it as that. Even if you can't come to a solid conclusion on who who you would blame, particularly for this happening. I just look at the situation and take away some key points. Don't have an open relationship. It's uh, the kiss of death. Nobody is mature enough to handle their partner fucking somebody else. I don't buy it. I don't think it's real. You will always be fucked up about it. And you will never stop thinking about it. And I bet you that was the entire time. Their relationship probably fell apart because of that. Because every time you look at your loved one, you're going to think, is the other person fucking them better? Does he have a bigger dick? Does she have a tighter pussy? That thought's always going to be in your head, and it's never going to go away. Did you come as hard with them as you do with me? Oh, what a quick way to kill a marriage. Just don't do it. And for the love of God, don't divorce people on social media. Horrible fucking decision as well. <laughs> I think I think you shouldn't probably be doing that, would be my, my suggestion for you. A terrible decision, but what do I know? From Veggie Bad, DSP and Jontron are getting drunk off of a victory and tap dancing on Pro Jared's grave. Why do male allies always turn out to be the biggest sex perverts imaginable? Is it because these guys have no game? Um, but yeah, the male allies thing does turn out usually to be really thirsty motherfuckers. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say though in Jared's case that he's a male ally because seemingly he's fucking everybody's wife. <laughs> so there you go. From Damon Darwin, bet Jared thinks he's a passable trap. <laughs> Let's, I'll put that picture back up. Let's see. Chat, I don't know. What do you think? Is Jared a passable trap? Would you meet this man in a bar and be like, well, would you meet this pretty lady in a bar and be like, yep, that's the lady I want to marry. That's her right there. <laughs> I'm going to say fucking no. I, You know, I, it's I, no, no. I don't know how much liquor you'd have to drink to confuse yourself like that, but nope. Nope, not at all. Not at all. Not passable. Not in the least. I, I, I'm, I'm reading basic... I'm reading uh, regular chat's uh, basic response to this. <laughs> People are not... They're saying no. I wouldn't hit it. I I think they'd rather quit life than hit that. I'll be honest with you. Uh, and I, I guess keep an eye on Jared. Wait for that lawsuit to come. I have a feeling one's coming. Um, so who knows somebody maybe it's related to sex pictures maybe it's related to the claims those two people who said they were 16 made I don't I don't really know uh, but th that's my feeling my gut feeling is that's coming and you know stay away from open relationships they end badly and for the love of God don't talk about your relationship and your breakup on the internet it never works out well I'll offer one final piece of conjecture my tumblr was hacked the hacker was seeking to deal as much damage as possible they were posting really grotesque things rapid fire they had full access to my posts to my inbox and to my private messages if they were seeking to deal as much damage as possible they would have gone through my private conversations and leaked damaging things but nothing was leaked Again, I ask you, do you still feel that Chai's claims against me beyond a reasonable doubt actually happened? Something that is important to note is the way Chai and Charlie made their statements. They use a logical fallacy known as poisoning the well. It's a tactic in which before you are presented with information, you are given subtext, opinions, or other irrelevant information to negatively affect your opinion about something before you find out what the something is. In other words, to manipulate you. And it worked on everybody. Charlie's accusations quickly followed Chai's. They had their own story posted to Twitter, and it had very similar claims that they were underage, that they interacted with me, and that I never even asked them for their age. Charlie was able to back up their accusations by posting several screenshots of her messages onto Twitter. 
Like I just mentioned, each screenshot is accompanied with them providing subtext and opinions to poison the well before you even look at it. Unlike Chai, I actually do remember talking to Charlie. It seemed familiar, but what they were saying didn't sound right. All of these images and poisoned well tactics that they posted on Twitter are the exact same things that they had emailed out to business associates of mine. I'm going to go more into that in a little bit, but basically they email people that I know with these exact same screenshots and said the same things pretty much verbatim as to what they put on Twitter. This is relevant because this is one of the screens they put on Twitter, and this is the exact same screen included in those emails, only Charlie's Tumblr name isn't redacted. Now because they have these, it's very clear that Charlie had access to our entire conversation on Tumblr, and they would have been able to see everything. But they still chose to only show carefully selected and carefully cropped images. This was done to make me look as bad as possible and to mislead you. For example, if Charlie would have shown the very start of our messages, you would have seen where Charlie lied. To clear up the immediate confusion as to why my screenshot has a different profile picture for me in it is because I had updated my profile picture sometime in February or March of this year. It's the same profile picture that's over on my Twitch page. All this means is that Charlie had taken the screen caps sometime before I updated my profile picture. Every single part of Charlie's allegations against me hinges on the belief that I didn't know their age and or didn't ask. They even argued that I should have known their age because they used the phrase, I am a baby, as if this somehow denotes how old they generally are, even though it's used in the context of shyness or feeling intimidated. And I did ask their age, and they lied. They also clearly knew then that they were doing something they know they shouldn't and is doing something they know I'm not okay with. They had full access to the entire conversation and omitted to all of you that they lied to me, deceiving all of you. They knew about this from the get-go, which is why on Twitter they immediately began to backpedal on their claims, changing their tone from claiming, I didn't say he knew my age, I said he was predatory. Predatory behavior would be targeting an individual and pursuing after them, often repeatedly. And as Charlie had access to our whole conversation, they saw it was them who continued to initiate conversations with me unprompted numerous times for months along. But Charlie chose to omit that. And when they spoke with the Daily Beast, they lied in the interview about me never asking for their age. When I did, so this is libel, Knobenbauer could have asked for my ID and they could have not lied. This isn't about whether or not they remembered if I asked them or not. It's that they knew that I asked because they clearly had access to all of our messages and saw the truth. Watching YouTubers is a really great way to spend your time. And they really appreciate it when you watch too. But did you know there's more you can do to help out your favorite YouTuber? Clicking that subscribe button means a lot, and clicking the notification bell is extra special. Not only that, liking the video and leaving a comment helps them so much, even if the comment is as simple as saying that you liked the video. There's also social medias like Twitter or Instagram, or other platforms where your favorites may appear, like Twitch. Support them wherever and whenever you can, and you can be one super fan. Sailor Jared says, 